Live from the Loki studio for this Thursday, the 3rd of October, it's Back Pocket. Brought to you as always by our musically gifted Back Pocketeer patrons. This week starring Ruby Innes. <laughs> oh. oh! I went for monkey man. Yeah, I was going to say then. monkey. Yeah, yeah. Gus Ronald. Thank fucking Christ he's been away. <laughs> My God, it's been so good. He's not watching. He won't be watching. No. He probably is watching in That's a tent you. right now. Like, fuck you, Peter. Aw. Fuck you, Peter. Peter Burns. <laughs> Are you all just telling me to get a melon up me? Yeah, yeah brother. isn't that what you want? Can we go on our break and saw this out, please. I don't want a melon up me. <laughs> now it's or... time. And special guest musical artist and streamer, Montaigne. Beginning now. <gasps> What's going on? Hi, everybody. It's me, Montaigne. <laughs> and let's not forget behind the scenes, it's Josh, Will and Ben. Now get ready. It's time for Back Pocket. <laughs> That's happening! Yay! Yay! And welcome to Back Pocket this Thursday. We're a video game variety show where we bring you hard-hitting news, our opinions on games, and sometimes uh, we have fun games. But honestly, it's just an excuse for us to uh, hang out with each other. Uh, and this week, apparently, we are uh, doing some of that because we're jeopardizing Rockwiz and we're helping each other. And that's the important Well, thing. that's sweet. Yeah. We're being friends with each other. Speaking of friends, I'm going to segue straight across to our guest, Monte. Hey! What's up? Thanks for joining us. I don't know us. why I keep doing this today. You've done that in rehearsals, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. you're doing it now as well. Words. Yeah, anyway. And that's your response fish to every time, question. Yeah, yeah. A little bit How of that. How are you going? Every, every question, just as the music stops. <laughs> yeah, exactly. uh, welcome back to the show. Nice to have you back. Oh, thanks for having me again. I love doing this show. So, yeah. Okay. We've well, done one. You might not like this one. That's true. I'll I'll see. That's <laughs> yeah. We'll see. I'll see. I love yeah. that energy. Yeah. I might hate the sophomore this. appearance. Yeah. Yeah, this might be bad. Always a challenge. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like I'm, albums. Yeah. I'm, oh yeah. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! No. <laughs> what? Yeah, There's no no, no, no news there. No, there. You no news was, there. What I was saying is like a lot of people say that the second album an artist releases is always the toughest. <laughs> that is. How many albums have you released? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. How many albums have you released? Ah, three. Yes. Yeah. I'm I'm fine. And how was the second one? Yeah, yeah, I think it was okay. I thought you were about to break into song there no, for a no. second. <laughs> it's, it, is it went though. a little something like, like yeah, this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, no, interestingly, the first album that I ever did is definitely my most successful one so far. Okay. So when people say it's well. all uphill from here, all downhill from here. Oh, it was all down. No, yeah, okay. it was, yeah. Fish tie. Tell me more yeah. about that. Um, well, <laughs> it's funny, yeah, because for the people at home, we were saying like, oh, we can't talk about my album because, you know, I haven't announced it or whatever. But the fish, and my album is like, it's a lot of the themes and the imagery and stuff are around like fish and the it's ocean and stuff. So I've been like mm. getting a lot of fish stuff to wear. Ordering have. fish for dinner. Well, no, because they're vegan. So bean, oh, okay, okay. okay. My, bean bean yeah, fishing? Bean fishing. Bean fishing. Just in um, Gone fishing? video games. Oh, okay. Gone never fishing. IRL'd fished? No. Have you ever No, never ever. No, <laughs> have you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, is what? that a thing? That yeah, well, I, was, I was in a fishing competition um, as what? part of, it's like a, I think it was like a Roselle fate of some sort. And oh. I, uh, there was a fishing contest and I thought that I wouldn't get like best fish or like, Greatest catch. That's not how fishing like that. So instead, work. but there <laughs> is there Pretty was fish. there was a trophy for best kiss fish, best fish kiss, best fish, okay. best fish kiss. So I kissed the fish, and it was gross. And I did not win the trophy, but I did win a different one. What was the other one? Oh. I think it was worst a, fish kiss. A, 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 yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, ugliest fish kiss. Uh, no, it was most a, inappropriate fish yeah. kiss. Yeah, uh, the the. Um, yibbity the, oh God! I was trying to think of a problematic celebrity that makes people uncomfortable, but I also don't Rex want to Hunt? name any of them. <laughs> Rex Hunt. Rex Hunt. He kissed cool. fish. Great. The Rex Hunt making everybody uncomfortable award. That is, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's is actually that's very probably accurate. what it was yeah. called. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you remember or not, but that's definitely what it was called. That yeah. was. And so wait, I held they, it up and it was. Were they real fish? Cute. Yep. Wild. What kind? What kind? Fish. No, but like what Big kind? Big mouth bass. Whiting. 
Yeah, white fish. fish, salmon. Tuna. I'm not a I'm not a fish identifier. Name She's got an fish. album about them. Yeah, you've got, this, yeah. you've, you've got, got to the expert. That being said, I, pr- I I could definitely know more about fish than I do. Yeah. So what do you know about fish? I want to hear everything you know about fish. Um, I think they're pretty. Mm-hmm. They are pretty. That is, that's a fact. And they're shiny. Yeah. They, they sure are shiny. Is there like the, the rainbow ocean. one? Yeah. Not all of them. Rainbow Some fish. of them are rivers. Have, have you guys? That's true. Um, Fresh and salt. Have, have you guys read the rainbow fish recently? Not recently. But that, I can, as soon as you said it, I have a beautiful image in my face. I don't mind. know if you remember the premise of that book, but the whole de- the journey is the rainbow <laughs> fish is a beautiful fish with rainbow scales, mm-hmm. and everyone's like, you're such a show off rainbow fish and the rainbow fish is really sad because no one wants to be friends with it so it starts giving away its scales to everyone and yeah. eventually it's just like a, a drab gray fish but everyone has like one scale each mm. and that's sort of the moral is don't stand out oh uh, yeah uh j- share share the, or your it's glo- the most yeah. australian story ever Dude, told it's yeah. literally it's wait so it's a that's the moral American is don't stand moral, out yeah, the moral <laughs> they don't is, get the end of it and they all feel bad and give them back and then that's a really happy colorful yeah, well, fish you should, i think some people interpret it as being a story about like sharing and and mm. stuff but i'm like was the fish proud was the fish like <laughs> overly proud or was it just beautiful and, and happy and, about it you know it's yeah anyway, i think so uh it's the moral is that bitches always is gonna hate you when you're pretty. <laughs> that is the last page of that scholastic. Because always gonna try and bring you down when you're pretty. Yeah. It's hard. It is fun rediscovering Who are you being children. There? Me. Yeah, that's. <laughs> it's fun rediscovering <laughs> children's <laughs> books that you realize are now slightly the problematic or confusing or had yeah. themes that you're like, I didn't realize that the first time. Yeah, yeah. I think it's interesting as well. I, I think like the reading I saw about this and this why it came to mind was a queer one where. The, the person interpreting it was like, I think this is like an anti-queer message sure. where it's like mm. people who do stand out and are different and, and you know, maybe you're a bit more like glamorous conform. than people are usual. Yeah, yeah, need to conform, right, yeah. in order to fit in. Where like now I think in 2024 we're probably all like, yeah, if you want to like – get into some like hot drag or if you like want to just like dress up and doll up and stuff like that's great we love that you know mm. yeah. but yeah it's just strange to think i don't know i i don't know, grew up reading the rainbow fish yeah. i had the i, had I don't the, want to read the very hungry caterpillar now yeah. what the fuck was that about <laughs> yeah, exactly. god damn i thought it was just hungry yeah, yeah. i had the german one about the kid who uh he i'm sorry his cut off you had a german sorry. Children's, children's book. book. Josh, research, please. Hit it up when you find it. Uh, one was about the kid who sucked his thumbs and the guy with the big scissors comes and cuts his thumbs off. What? One was about a girl who <laughs> plays with matches and she burns herself to death. One was about a boy who always looked up, he fell in the canal and drowned. Remember these are all wonderful these short stories. Remember about how like, deluded and disconnected from reality this man is? It's because yeah. I read like Hans because he was tormented as a child. Yeah, like right. fucked up stories for kids. Yeah. Sorry. But the, I, I do love it that whenever you deliver I'm these... not looking up that story, by the way. There's no way. <laughs> The whenever pictures you, are amazing. Whenever you deliver these stories of your childhood and also just your day-to-day life, you always deliver them as if, uh, isn't this so relatable? Yeah. Um, no, it wasn't. And you I'm here to tell you, it's book? absolutely not. not. It was it's a not. very popular book. I'm just putting it out there. Chat, someone's got a back. It's not Grimm's fairy tales, but there was a very, yeah. It That's why he shushes people. It's because if you don't, if you that, don't shush, you'll get your thumbs chopped off. <laughs> by Dark <laughs> Shush and Muff. <laughs> <laughs> the, Shushen, the Shushenheimer has come. <laughs> It'll come and put cold down your throat. Anyway, Peter, speaking of bad throats, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I I sound normal. I think I don't know so what cool. we're, this is I don't Husk know Pete. what we're dwelling on this. This is pack a camel a day, Pete. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Appropriate. Uh, you got a ciggy for me? Can I? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Nice. Um, no camels, though. Why not? Um, <laughs> too much tar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah a little bit too much tar for too my much liking. Tar. Um, yeah, no, I lost my voice uh, partying really hard. That's a good a, way to do it. Really at a cool. wedding, so uh, <laughs> it was actually gone on Sunday, and is and now I feel like I'm hearing myself now going like, yeah, I'm, I'm back to normal, right? You watch this back, and you, you'll see the Who intro next week. And you're like, good oh, God, I found a, a like the show that we did just after PAX mm. and well, hearing all, my voice. I think we all started. You, oh, yeah, you were gone. You, yeah, you were. But, it was uh, bad. Yeah. I sounded scary. Are you down to PAX this year? I am doing PAX this year. I'm Wonderful. gonna I'm gonna be at the Aftershock um stall at like one PM on I think Friday or Saturday to sing one song. Oh, and do a little cool. meet and greet. I don't know what song it is yet. I should probably figure that Something out. Something off the new album, I hope. Well <laughs> Well, I um I was actually chatting about this with my friends because like, oh I guess I'll just do a montane song, but it kinda like feels weird to do it like a 
game convention or whatever. And my friends were like, you should do like one of the covers from like Bayonetta or something. Ooh, yeah. 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 yeah, you always, oh, that's actually a good pull. That'd Maybe I should do like yeah. that or like a sanctuary or whatever. Um, you're yeah. also at high school, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll yeah. be there on this weekend. Fuck. Sorry, am I allowed to swear? I don't know. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I called it a fucking German's kid yeah. book before, which is apparently called Struwel Peter. Struwel Peter? We'll look it up afterwards. Um, I'm going to crack this can. You, you should do uh, do the Wii Menu music or something. The Wii Menu. How does that go again? What's Just dun, 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 dun. Oh, is that the Wii Menu music? Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. I never owned the Wii. Uh, that's, that's the Mii Maker music. You idiot. I'm fairly certain. Yeah, we're rolling board now. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Because the Wii Menu. Can I decide? I just cracked a can of Pepsi Max. Not sponsored. Not, Not sponsored. sponsored. I would say the Pepsi Max tastes like stale Coke Zero. Oh, interesting. That's that's what I reckon it's at. Like yep. it's like a flat. Are you trying to hurt Josh's feelings? No, I'm just trying to I'm trying to explain to him why it's the inferior beverage. I'm not trying to hurt oh. feelings, but, Wait, it, but it so absolutely <laughs> is the inferior beverage. Hold on, I have because I have a, I have a ranking. Okay, go. Of like okay. all of the, I think number one Coca Cola, mm -hmm. and then number two Pepsi. Like regular Pepsi. Yeah, we're all on board three, here. I think Pepsi Max is third, and then Coke Zero is fourth. Really? Yeah. yeah. Incorrect. Yeah. Okay. That's a shame. Well, I that's a shame. recently. <laughs> this is going to be a real bombshell because I recently tried. <laughs> Shut up. I recently tried the Oreo flavored Coca Cola. Oh, I want to know. Oh, I love so I got exciting news Ooh. and I got really boring news. Okay. Mm -hmm. The exciting news is that the Oreo flavored Coca Cola is vanilla Coke. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's just that. Oh, okay. Did you know that there are Coke flavored Oreos? I did see that as well. I was they wondering about both. They taste amazing. Oh. Mm. They taste like uh, like Coke lolly, like the lollies okay. of Coke, but in like a creamy biscuit. They genuinely are like a, a flavor that doesn't match up with the thing you're eating. So it's actually, it's cool. It's it's like as a confectioner, you're like, that's a really interesting flavor. I'm really glad you've the drink, this give it a trail. Miss. I'm, yeah. I'm glad you've this trail because I keep walking past like all of it's the- It's stunt marketing that stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm like, Surely that can't be good. Yeah, and uh, I'm I haven't endeavoured to try. What I hope what I hope happened is that it was Coke <laughs> getting on board first, being like we're into Oreo flavored Coke, mm. and then they Chat were like, is saying you're full of shit. What do you mean? Oh, well, it doesn't taste anything like it. They drink it. No, you don't. <laughs> I like to hope that Coke set up that partnership, and then Oreo just came off it better. We'd like, mm. oh, we've got the interesting flavored thing, but then Coke just got vanilla Coke. Give it a shot. Okay, or don't. And look out for Strudel Do. Fifi. <laughs> oh, there he goes right now. <laughs> Josh, are you sure you can't find one reference picture to prove I'm not making that up? It's not rude. There's nothing I, in I it. don't want to prove that you're not making it <laughs> it's up. Like, it's, it's way not... funnier to me this way. But, but what, because they don't think it exists? Yeah. No, I like the idea that you're just lying. There's one boy who doesn't cut his fingernails and they get really long and he's got like he doesn't cut his hair and he's on the cover. He's just and it's all like really fine pencil drawing and stuff. Oh god. Damn it. <laughs> Sorry, I think it's all right. Shouts back. Look at it in the post show. It's Ooh. a little bit of backup and in a little. <sighs> you bastard. <laughs> you, were so, you were so close, mate. You were so close. You were really close. Uh, in a little bit of backup, we back it on up and have a look at the news that has happened in the week. But before we do that, this is sponsored by Reese Wild. That's older. So Zelda. That's Zelda. Uh, <laughs> and what we do with Reese Wild is Reese sends us a sound from the wild, aka from the world, but I'm saying world in a kind of funny accent. Mm -hmm. From the wild. Uh, <laughs> and we have to guess what it is. It was transatlantic. That's yeah. what that was. Yeah. Oh. It's from the wild. It's is just it in. Yeah. The sound. Is that good? What are you looking at? Something just fell from the ceiling. Okay. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> Reese. Sorry. Reese, take us to the wild. I have a guess. <laughs> I have a guess. Can I? Yeah. Can I just go for it? Is it Mu Deng? <laughs> oh. <laughs> No, oh, I was thinking the guess. same thing. Yeah, maybe guess. Okay, okay. It's sad because Wait, I really it? wanted like the ding to happen and then for a video of Mu Deng yeah, to show up. I just wanted to see her. Oh, I just wanted to see uh, that SNL cast member in the movie. <laughs> yeah, it was oh, Bo and Yang. Bo and Yang. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. Can we get it again just a little louder, Josh? Yeah. We can barely hear that. And maybe that's the sound, I think. But I think it, it is quiet, yeah. Give us crank that. It's Ooh, a very wet down. sound, isn't it? It's 
very bassy. Mm. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of heavy breathing. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like some a... cow chewing some cud, but it's right in the mic. So someone got the mic right yeah. down. Yeah. yeah, it's chewing. It's I'm sniffing. I'm gonna go with Dennis Quaid eating prawns in the substance. <laughs> what is the substance? Spoilers. Everyone's talking about the substance. It's a movie. So it's good. A movie. It's, it's a good? horror movie. It's oh, fantastic. No. In okay. my opinion. I'm going to go with yeah. Denethor eating tomatoes <laughs> in... <laughs> I just watched that last time. That's the end of Two Towers, Return of the King. Return of the King. Return of the King. Oh, is it Return of the King? You're right. Of course, yeah, yeah. 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 Is it? I think, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not Denethor? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I'll go with a baby cow. No, no. I don't get a buzzer. I and I, I'll need Pete's help with the name, actually, because I'm oh, sure this, yeah. you will know. Yeah. Um, here we go. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but that's um. It's a sweet baby boy. I can't remember his name. That's Reese. You can't Reese's. remember his name. <laughs> it's Reese's dog. It's not my dog. I don't <laughs> need to remember other dogs' names. I'll get it. I'll get it in a second. I'll what get it in a second. are they chewing? It looks like Fenrir. It I don't look, know. Fenrir. It looks like the yes. emoji poo, but Benny. in like a plastic. Poo. I look like boy. a plastic Might grenade. Be, yeah. <laughs> Oh, Fenrir is so cute. I like to hope that Reese has been sponsoring this segment as a, a long play a big, big just boy. to get their dog on, on screen. And yeah. if you did, well played. Well played, so Thank you. Thank you so much, Reese, for uh, the sound, mm. but also that really nice video. <laughs> yeah. I love. So this week, mm. uh, we found out. I, I'm hearing reports. <laughs> no, I'm not going to continue. But I could, but I won't. <laughs> Frosty Games Fest announced. Ooh. Uh, so a new games showcase highlighting Australian and New Zealand made games been announced. It's called Frosty Game Fest and it's set to launch during the week of Summer Game Fest in tw June 2025. That's almost back pocket -y. Yeah. <laughs> but a little cup, is, little little cup heady. Little cup heady. Oh, yeah. yeah. Little really windy cute. soft serve. Capocity. So, I love it, regardless. <laughs> it's very cute. And so uh, it's being curated by Amy Potter, who d does marketing for Cinti Studios and Buzzbang, was formerly at Twitch ANZ. Mm -hmm. uh, Lu Lucy Mutima, who is a 2D games artist. Pratika Suchdev, who is the senior content and community manager at Quip. Social media for Free Play Festival and co-producer of Contours Exhibition from 2017. And Kieran Verbrugge, who is a games writer and former editor of Press Start. So these are all people that are very much ingrained in the Australian games industry uh, who are putting on a game showcase that's going to be happening during Summer Game Fest. That's why cool. it's called Frosty Games Fest because it's winter here when it's summer over there. It's still warmer here than it is in... It is. That's right. Well, yeah. Maybe not uh, in LA. Not but like Florida. Yeah. Florida gets crazy hot. I got, I got follow-up questions that we might not have answers for. Mm -hmm. First of all, True. do we in Australia have any kind of broad catch-all game fest that's not particularly tailored to any one publisher group or anything like is this australia we... specific yeah no no okay cool no. so this is like first version of that really cool yeah very cool yeah yep. second one uh <laughs> b <laughs> if i remember um ah, i really forgot so now. this is very much like <laughs> this would be this would be akin to a wholesome direct or a day of the dead that's what i was gonna ask yep. what are they uh, do we know do we know is this like a and live C. event is this all so it's, it's going to be uh live streamed okay. digitally yep uh during summer game fest so yep. they haven't got an exact you know like time and day are they gonna um, go like head to head are they gonna like make themselves competition i'm watch one or the other surely the time difference would mean we could just like follow off seamlessly from when yeah. well, the day of the Dead goes afterwards and stuff but yeah there would totally will be a slot yeah yeah I'm hoping because I, uh, you know, looking at who's organizing it, you know, these are people that have worked in the local industry for quite a while. They have mm. good yep. connections all around and they know this stuff when it comes to local releases. And uh, it's also being backed by Screen, Screen Australia's Games Event Fund, mm -hmm. um, which means that they've got that that backing behind them. It's being produced by Wrecked Productions, who's done they've done like Trash Taste and Griefed and stuff like that. So we're thinking a couple of professional hosts sitting down, <laughs> watching trailers, maybe talking to, well, I'm speculating here, maybe yeah. chatting to some devs, that kind of vibe. Yeah, it seems yeah. like that's probably going to be the case of, cool. of uh, uh, you know, showcasing stuff that's coming out of Australia, maybe stuff that we've already seen but is getting updates and uh, maybe completely new announcements. I know that currently they're taking... Uh, expressions of interest from developers as well as from creators to co-stream. Um, I'm hoping that they manage to get in touch with the the big K-man himself, Jeff Keighley, uh, because getting involved directly in Summer Game Fest would be 
you know, even just a huge. shout, even yeah. just a little like, hey, these this yeah. has spurned some other kind of game fest around the world. This is one of them. Just even a little shout out would be nice. Yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah, it would because I know that uh, wholesome games they had a wholesome direct last year that was you know shouted out as part of summer game yep. fest. So I think it would definitely be possible. Um, but yeah, just to clarify, it's not uh, an ev- like arena spectacular an event. It's a games show like a digital game showcase yeah. so it'll be showing off australian games which uh i think you know it's cool it feels like an exciting event when we see just one or two australian or new zealand games shown off in one of these showcases like your day of the devs or your uh your key threes and shit like that but uh having a whole one dedicated to it that could potentially become connected to them all i think is not only very cool but also very necessary because, you know, we we need coverage of local games because what we're making is really cool. We do, but a lot yeah. of stuff gets oh. swept yeah. under the rug. And I think, yeah, putting a spotlight on it as well, particularly in like what is a starting event mm. by the looks of it. I hope they like put it together in a sensible fashion that is like gives it room for growth and goes yeah. like, hey, we're not stretching too far here because we want to show everyone in the equal and right light and then be like, this has the potential to be something that just keeps coming back. I, I love these things when they're announced. I'm always worried that there'll be a flash in the pan one year thing and then we never yeah. hear from it again. Yeah. So I really hope something like this has legs. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good place for Screen Australia to be putting their money yes. for sure. Yeah. Totally. And yeah. Hopefully, you know, we're still, expressions of interest are open now, right? Like we're months away from this thing happening. There are going to be games at this showcase that haven't even been, thought of yet yeah. mm. with how quickly the scene here moves. Mm. Um, so we're, I'm sure we're going to see some amazing stuff and hopefully we're going to see some brands get on board as well and put some money into it. Totally. You, you know, then, then it can actually become something really sustainable because Screen Australia is going to put money into it hopefully for a few years and give it the opportunity to yeah. like, you know, take Mary off. But... Baskin Robbins. <laughs> What are the other ice cream brands? Oh, well, they get an ice cream ice brand. Cream yeah. That's it. Just get them Peter's. all behind it. Peter's ice cream. I'm there for you guys. Messina. <laughs> ben and Jerry. Messina. That's a little too fancy That's a little too rich, too rich fancy, for a I video think. game convention. You reckon? I yeah. can. No, actually. No, I think I could do it. Maybe right. They got like know. a mushroom cake that's an ice they cream. Do. Yeah, that's kind of cute. Mm, kind of like Mario. Yeah. Theme some of your flavors after video games around the same time. It's ice cream fest in my head. It's a festival of ice cream. And I'm looking forward to that. And there's already a major sponsor that is an ice cream. Creamery. Yep. <laughs> um, Cold Rock. Cold Rock Cold is Rock. way more alive. Okay, but yeah. I think put some fucking gummies in that shit. Yeah. But you know, I, I'm not sure if Cold Rock can can sponsor an event like they're yeah. barely holding on themselves. Yeah. Also, I don't want to see that mascot. Well, there's the still one. Time, what's the last time you got there's Cold still one Rock? around? Well, so that mascot, that mascot, that mascot that would, would just be Cold crushed. Rock. You'd see him like that, and then they'd just start bashing with paddles. I miss frozen yogurt. It's still around. It's what are you talking there. about? Where? There's Yo like Chi, Show me one. There's Yo an Chi. incredibly it's all popular bubble tea Yo bullshit in these Newtown. days. Newtown, the, the Yoshi in Newtown is popping off like every single okay. night. Oh, every yeah. single night. I know where it's I'm going crazy. after the show. Yeah. I like to pick a Yoshi that's just, had, that's just had the maintenance person go through and like clean all the yeah. dispensers though. Because yeah. if you pick a bad time to get Yoshi after like after <laughs> school, that thing's a mess. You can freeze your own yogurt. I'm not going to freeze my own yogurt. Surely, you just, hard for me. surely that doesn't work right. You don't just put yogurt in a freezer. I'm pretty sure that's mm. all they do. Mm. I'm going to test it tonight. All right. Yeah, Excellent. but I think having a, a an Australian and New Zealand game focused showcase. Oh, we're inviting the really, Kiwis. Yeah, I didn't know it was NZ2. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> nah, get rid of it. Done. No. Yeah, no. fuck that. They're good. Dredge. Yeah, sure, they oh, make good Dredge games, but we don't want them getting <laughs> screen yeah, they're, Australian they're great money. Games. They, we need that's to, the problem. Yeah. We need to be making better games than them. It's not a competition. We're still, yes, it fucking is. No, no, no. It's us. Some, some, they will fight to the death it's at us my Southern showcase. It's Hemisphere versus everybody else. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's a bigger enemy here. It's yeah. called America. It's called, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's the, called North. the North. It's called yeah, exactly. America. the North. The North. Yeah. yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm super excited. Yeah, I think cool. uh, we've seen so many big hitters come out in recent years. You know, Cult of the Lambs, Untitled mm. Goose Game, Hollow Knight. Yeah. Uh, hey. Who knows? Maybe Slick Song will pop up at the Frosty no, 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 Kids. No, 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 no. Who knows? That game does Sorry. not exist. What a, what a play so for old Keely. If he, they just have Summer Games Fest, no Silk Song, and then the, the what's it called? The Frozen Game Fest? Frosty, Frosty Games game Fest. fest. The, what's it called? Frozen Yogurt Fest? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go to this yogurt festival. <laughs> I'm just there in the crowd. <laughs> Who is this? Where's my Silk Song? <laughs> All right, we should move on. <laughs> yeah, but um, if you are a developer and uh, you're 
an Australian or New Zealand developer and you're looking to get your game out there, you can go on their website and mm. uh, put in an expression of interest. Um, and also if you're a streamer, you can sign up to co-stream. Um, but yeah, we won't be hearing anything right now about what's to come because, you know, they still got to get their games and stuff. But it seems like on their socials and on the website, they'll kind of be releasing more info about it. Go so get the socials to follow. That's always good when you're starting an event or something. Yeah. Yeah. Suddenly you get a little momentum there. So totally. There won't be much on it, but then it'll pick up pace. Yeah. They'll start yeah, adding flavors. You get the updates. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'm always a base vanilla yogurt, though. <laughs> yogurt? Now it's time for what we've been playing. <laughs> <laughs> All I can think of now. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to what we've been playing. It is brought to us by Nick Belling. I don't know his name, but I just dox him. <laughs> no, his <laughs> socials. His socials are Nick Belling. Okay, Nicrotex. <laughs> Oopsie. <he's, laughs> I was sure that. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Uh, Nicrotex. We usually read a tweet of uh, his, but we've changed it up. Um, there's no more tweets. Sorry, Liz Dahlia. You could have been informed. You weren't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're playing a game that is part of Pocket Pals uh, because Nick was, as he is in life, incredibly overprepared to deliver on the product that he created. Uh, and apparently there are around 600 of these still unused. Uh, so we're going to start... Di <laughs> I'm name in danger. <laughs> we're going to dive into... Yeah, name one of the cousins. Name my cousin. <laughs> no, this is Screenshot in the Dark. Many of you may remember the segment from the <clears throat> Pocket Pals episodes <laughs> that it featured in. They were generated using the Guess the, ga guess the Dot Game uh, website, which you can go and play effectively this game on there. Um, but you're going to play the better version, the version created by Nick Belling. <laughs> To be His clear, name is online. Nick Peter's <laughs> Belling. To be clear, Peter's quite unwell. <laughs> um, I'm fine. Uh, and uh, let's let's check it out. We're going to get a screenshot in the dark. We're going to get a frame of a video game. We're going to try and identify what the game is. If we don't get it in six seconds, I believe, it'll move to oh, the next shit. frame, which should okay. be more obvious as to what the game is. We can buzz in just by saying our names and have a guess. Okay. Uh -huh. All right, let's see it, Josh. Does, does everyone remember their names? Nick Belling. Nick oh, okay. Belling. But, uh, buzz! Mass <laughs> Effect 2? Yeah. <laughs> oh! What? Oh, what are we watching Mass Effect 2 in? That's a tr they tricked you. You're out. You got tricked. You're no longer going to play. Play, continue, please. <laughs> Wait, do this every not... week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If it's not Mass Effect... Oh. What? I mean, Paul, Paul, uh, but Peter. Paul. <laughs> Mary? <laughs> Mass Effect 3? <laughs> oh. I thought that scene was the genocide scene. The last one I guess of the I what she's talking like, about. The, it's three. Okay, thank you. Aren't they meant to be like <laughs> so? It's three. Crotch? Do I play it out? Sure. No, 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 no. Fuck that. Okay. We, <laughs> got, we, we haven't got thirty seconds. What are you talking okay. about? All right, I'm sorry. Let's get I don't know. This, this is my first going. time on doing this job. <laughs> that that and they're all like zoomed in bits of brown soil, and everyone's like, I don't know what this is. <laughs> I thought yeah. that was the game. Yeah, me too. All right. Yeah, I that one was, was too in. easy. That one was too easy. I'm confused. It's uh, an easy one to start off with. What do you want from me? I don't know. No, nothing. You did a great <laughs> job, Josh. He did a bad job. It's literally his first time being alive. Wrong. I just <laughs> yeah. jumped under that bus for all of you guys. You're welcome. Thank you so much. I would have said two as well. Uh, what we've been playing is the same one we talk about. What we've been playing, and Ruby, going to kick us off this week because you've been playing the big game of the week. That's right. I've been playing Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Let's go. <laughs> what? So, well, Legend. You just ruined this game for me. <laughs> <laughs> Good. It's like the most innocent, lovely game. That's never how the title should be said. No, I think it should be said like that all the time, Gus. <laughs> anyway, Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom is the newest Legend of Zelda game where, oh, you get to play a Zelda. How freaking exciting. And uh, it, you know, obviously starts off with the link and you're like, oh my God, it's a link game. This is just like the normal times. It's actually not because you do play as Zelda at the end of the day. Spoilers. But basically the gist of it is, uh, it is akin to Link's, of Link's Awakening in visual stylings, uh, but then more so akin to Tears of the Kingdom in gameplay mechanics. So you start off as Link going into this temple for the final battle. You're fighting Ganon, you think you beat him, but then it turns out you don't. And you get sucked into a rift with Ganon 
Uh, meanwhile, Zelda is in a crystal that's just been broken and she gets out and suddenly she's in charge. So you take a hold of her as you go throughout Hyrule, fixing all these large mysterious rifts that have happened all throughout the lands. I'm so sorry to interrupt. Josh, can we please scrub forward? I can, <laughs> there's like, this is the, the first nope. two minutes of the game which do not speak to any of the points Ruby is saying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay, maybe 10 minutes for. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so uh, uh, there are rifts all throughout Hyrule um, that are sucking people inside, keeps people going missing, and uh, uh, it, I guess it gets worse because people you know are going missing now. So now it's time to deal with them. Uh, that was brutal. But uh, it, and and they're making heaps of monsters around. So, but there's no Link, and Link comes to save the day normally. So you as Zelda join forces with a little sp spirit known as Tri. She's like a little uh, ball that has triangles coming out of her head. So clearly Tri, like Triforce, mm -hmm. um, and she gives you the power to. Uh, to collect echoes and echoes are basically copies of various objects and enemies um i'm i'm giving an overview of it but you know gus has talked about it on the show before uh when he played the preview of it so you kind of get the idea from kim i've been playing this game non-stop i cannot put this down i i just there's something about it in in everything about it like it's so charming the game mechanics feel so easy to use i will say the one thing that i don't like so much about it in terms of like nitpicking is that when it comes to your collection of echoes it gets bigger mm -hmm. and bigger because you're just collecting everything uh and the only way to choose stuff is just scrolling mm. through a single line you can't favorite stuff, which is a bummer because there are so many things I want to favorite. Shouts out to the water block. You get me everywhere. Mm -hmm. And you get me personally. I'm not a trampoline man. You will be a trampoline man up until you get that water block. <laughs> and then you are swimming to your heart's content. <laughs> that sounds fun. That, and, and that's something I really like about it is that, that there's so many different ways to play it. And I've been forcing myself to try a myriad of different things in terms of of what echoes i use like including enemies like uh choosing different enemies for different enemies and choosing different enemies for different situations uh i was using for example the bat all the time to to glide along areas but then uh i decided to just go for a bird instead and for no other reason than just i wanted to try something new and this game just likes it when you try something new mm. it's so much Fun. And it was interesting because, you know, talking to Jess just before, uh, there was a moment where uh, they were talking about their partner playing the game wrong. <laughs> but, oh God, I have Nick so much. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but just in a way where, where they were like, oh, well, I wouldn't do it this way. And But that's exactly how I've experienced watching everyone play the game, where I've gone, oh, I wouldn't play it that way. Yeah. Uh, and that's what I really love about it is that there's so many different uh, ways to deal with em enemies. There's so many different ways to do puzzles. There's so many different ways to get around. It's, it's a game that encourages you to think about it yourself and, you know, not look it up because there's so many different ways you can do stuff. And I think that's really, really cool. I didn't, I didn't think it would be able to do this on such a limited plane being this like isometric top-down game. I thought like the fact that you, you lose a lot of that 3D random all the different axes that you get in tears of the kingdom and stuff yeah. but it's it's crazy how much it still lets you like play with physics yeah. i guess and it's huge i didn't realize just how big the map was mm. gonna be like mm. it's 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 so big that it, you've got <laughs> warp points because there's just so much ground to cover and mm. uh it has that it, it's got so many classic Zelda moments, but it's got that classic Zelda moment of thinking you're e nearing the end of the game and you're going, oh, well, I want to get more out of this game. So I, I should probably just run around and do some stuff. Uh, and then you've done a whole bunch of stuff and you're like, okay, well, maybe I'll just go to the end. And then you- Turn uh, into a mouse, turn into a mouse. Go into- You know, oh, it's not oh, really? Astrobot. It's no. not Astrobot. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know how much you loved that part. But the thing is, is like it, uh, do, it, it tricks you. It tricks you into thinking that the game's about to end and then suddenly you're hit with even more stuff to do, but mm. it doesn't feel overwhelming. And the, it takes a lot of leaves out of, you know, a bunch of different Zelda, bo Zelda books. Yeah, 
it takes a page out of multiple different Zelda books. Uh, what I like from uh, the, the, you know, Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom side of things is you have got side quests that you do on, an, on top of your main quest. All the side quests that I have experienced have been adorable. They're short too. They're short? I think, I'm, I'm nice. assuming, and I'd love to ask how far through the game you are. I've only put like maybe three or four hours in. I'm just in like the first sort of area to go to. And every side quest I've hit has been like, hey, I, can you help me find this thing? And it's like, yeah, it's just over here. But yeah. it's lovely because it just doesn't feel like it gets added to your big list of yeah. chores that you forget about, which is a problem I had with Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah. It was like, yeah. I met so many quests that are like, there are 10 of us around the world. I was like, oh, <laughs> forget it, man. But here yeah. it's like, find my horse. And it's like, it's just over here. Yeah. But the puzzle was getting the horse out of there. Yeah. yeah or sure. it's like, uh, I really I really want to see this uh, blob creature. And you're like, I can just echo that. <laughs> And make it yeah. happen. And then they're like, oh, that's so cool. I love the blob creature. Here's 50 rupees. Yeah. I'm like, thank you. It, like, all, all the quests... <laughs> you feel... read dialogue in much different voices than <laughs> I do when I play games. All the, all the quests feel attainable, which is what yeah. I really like. It's, what it's... are you questing for? Why, why are you earning currency? Because isn't, like, the progression of this game attached to just duplicating stuff and that's progression? So... The things that you, you've got a limited amount of, of duplication. So mm -hmm. you can only make so many things. You can you can level up tries, powers as you go along. Yep. That gives you, that makes certain echoes cheaper and it makes certain, uh, it, it, it makes you able to summon more echoes. But there are things that that echoes can't make. There are, there are you know, you need to... Mm. Make money to buy smoothies. You need to make money. So, so you need, to, yeah, you need to, what? but make money <laughs> to uh, make smoothies. So you know how you make food in in Breath of the Wild in real life. In in real life, yeah. In Zelda, you're making smoothies. Cool. And they're, smoothies. they're pretty cute. And they're, they're like really, each really one cute. comes out with like a little garnish and everything, and you're like, that's the upgrade, not the upgrade, but that's the perks that you can carry around with you. Yeah. And you're yeah. like, oh, I need something to stay out of the lava. I'll drink my icy smoothie or something like that. Yeah. Sure. Uh, okay. It's very Zelda focused yeah. in that kind of like. <laughs> and you're buying the ingredients, or you just <clears throat> uh, well, you, so, you find them you around. Find, so once yeah. your point, those okay. little quests, I have found it. It's like cool. I've earned five more grapes. I'm like, oh. <laughs> and I seem to be not earning anything of too much substance because I feel like like I'd never ate much of the food in the Zelda games. I didn't need it oh. like as much as much. The, and I feel like well, I feel like the smoothies are gonna be crucial to some parts, but not the whole game. I'm just gonna lie in the bed when I need to rest. So for me, yeah. Getting but what about those, getting energy? Yeah. Look, for me, getting those don't feel as crucial as getting upgrades to be like, oh cool, those little extra triangles you're getting when you do a dungeon you get another triangle. And then the thing that I thought was really interesting was the levels of the echoes, as you mentioned. I didn't oh, the realize- the stilled world. The what? The stilled world? No, or... I got I got an oh, enemy. Oh, the levels of the echoes. Yeah, 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 I got I you. I got an enemy I could summon. <laughs> and then I was like, cool. It said, now you've got that enemy level two. And I was like, shit, this is Pokemon now. Yeah. It's like, oh, you I've got, got a, a stronger version. version of it yeah. that maybe costs less, but like yeah. fights harder. And what mm. I like to do is I like to get the level three enemy. Um, and when I find like level one, ones like running around i like to summon the level three one and it's like um they're getting like eaten by their dad oh gross <laughs> it's well, funny I, to me i didn't know they had leveled creatures so i was like that's a level of complexity that i mm. thought what well, because this does by its nature feel like a simplified yeah. zelda game but there's a lot of complexity but it's also not that's, that's what the I mean, thing yeah. i think i think uh the the cutesy art style can trick you into thinking that it's going to be like a dumbed down Zelda game, but it still feels so whole to me. And what I really love about Zelda games, because the thing is, I, I loved Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild was fantastic. If a third Zelda game came out that looked like that, I probably wouldn't be interested because I think what is really awesome about the Zelda series as a whole <laughs> is that it is a this realm of experimentation. They are always trying something new, not only when it comes to the gameplay, because with this, they're just showing off. They are just showing off in terms of game design. But when it comes to the art styles, they're always trying something new. And I think that's so, so cool to have a series as iconic as this look so many different ways. They're also, they're, they're clever. You know? They're doing For it sure. because they know that, that yeah. fatigue would set in. So they go, oh, we'll refresh with yeah. the, it's the Mario, yeah. uh, all Nintendo games. It's like, we're going to give you a little this world, change the art style a little bit. It's like just changing it enough that it feels fresh. Yeah. Mm. But it's done with, you know, an innocence and an actual mm. joy. It's not being done just to market more Zelda at us yeah. kind of thing. It is interesting that there's been two, like, create your own solutions mm. Zelda games in a row. Um, 
Uh, but I, w I would find, from my personal experience uh, of playing them, because I finished Tears of the Kingdom, <laughs> mm. and I'm on my way to finishing this, uh, they are very different. Th there are definitely shared aspects of them in terms of, yeah, of like, uh, like different yeah. ways to complete puzzles, but the ways in which you use your powers are very, very different. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. Because obviously. as well... I just, I just like, when I think about my favorite Zelda experiences, they've been mostly pretty prescriptive. In, you know, because they were the 64-era ones. Mm. And I don't want them to not do that again. Because I didn't like Tears of the Kingdom. And a lot of that was because I spent ages playing uh, Breath of the Wild and mm. loved that. Mm. And I didn't want to be in another massive world. So that was just, like, exhausting. Mm. And then all the other stuff I found was like... And I know you had the same problem of being like... You've just given me a bunch of tools and not designed enough for me. And I don't think I think I don't think this has the same problem. I think there's a, I'm already seeing so much design, and not to can Tears of the Kingdom, which is obviously a lot of people's game of the year like that year. But this looks like it's got m more of a directed path, and you're just kind of like choosing your own way to the end of that yeah. path. Um, but yeah. I would love to, I, you know I'd love the next Zelda to be a couple more of, homes. totally. I, I'd almost argue there's been three of the like yeah. they've kind of pivoted the Zelda series to have this create your own yeah. solution through mm. Breath of the Wild had a lot of that. Yeah, and then true. Tears of the Kingdom went hard on it, and now they've realised this is a part of the Zelda franchise that we're going to keep playing with until it runs mm. its course because Zelda mm, by yeah. its nature ran its course yeah. as being the most formulaic game. Mm, and true, even, they true. kept trying to put new spins on it, but they were at their core the same formula. Yeah. Yeah. I have read a couple of reviews that say. Behind all of this, and it's not a criticism, but like, it doesn't do anything to step away from that. Go to the Gerudo Valley. Go to the Zora area. Sure. Go to this valley. Like, there still is that, and I think it's probably there. Well, for I want to go there. Totally. It's yeah, probably yeah. there. <laughs> it's probably there for familiarity because yeah. I think that is still really intrinsic to a Zelda game's yeah. experience. But I think they've fa they're finding balance the whole yeah. time they they make and, a new game. And I think that um, I found that that you know as 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 much as I'm enjoying it as an adult it feels like an attainable finish for younger people. And I think that's really cool because I, even even me being my ripe old age of 19 years old, <laughs> when I played Tears of the Kingdom, I did finish it because I forced myself to, because I didn't finish Breath of the Wild. Oh. Because it felt like a slog. It felt like this huge, huge area that I just wasn't, uh, uh, I didn't have the energy for, and it felt like a slog to play. Meanwhile, this one, it feels like a more attainable finish. Sure. And I think uh, Zelda games as a whole are so delightful that, uh, you know, it's good when you get an, an experience with one of them where you do get to the end. It's so rewarding. And this one I feel like would be such a rewarding finish for any kid starting to get into it, it Zelda. Feel, and it feels yeah, like that nice. from the start, even if it's just feeling like you're in a little bit of a slightly more innocent childlike game. It's like, I'm going to be able to finish this, yeah. even when there are tricky bits later on. And that's a nice feeling to have going forward. It's not like, when is this going to get overwhelming? When mm. am I just going to find this? Uh, I've just got too much to do. Yeah. I'm going to put it down. So I agree. I feel like it's it feels like it's holding my hand from the start. Yeah to say you're going to enjoy this whole game. Yeah, It's holding your hand, but not in a condescending no, way. No, not at totally, all. Totally, yeah. right? And like, uh, the music is gorgeous. I love that the theme is a... a I don't give the... him any props for the design of the music. It's all disgustingly beautiful, and it's Nintendo doing exactly yeah, what they know, know they I can know. do. But what like, I do ugh. like about this one is that there's a there's a, a, a leitmotif of, of Zelda's lullaby within it. It's yeah, of just, course. It's, it's don't beautiful. Because they they've got the same music for every game. They're like, let's yeah, change a few notes and that's a new it's, one. But it's Zelda's lullaby it's because lovely. you're her, you yeah. know? And that is something that feels really cool to me playing as Zelda. Like, I think this... Uh, I, I had seen people say that they wanted a Breath of the Wild style game for her first game. And I can understand that because Breath of the Wild, it feels like the big one. Mm. But this, to me... Feels perfect. Zelda, and, and Zelda, it, Link it's started, a Zelda game. Link started in the smaller games. Or Link these started this too. big. Link yeah. started. He was only this big. Yeah. <laughs> he was literally only he this big. big. She also to grow. The one thing I want to say quickly is she takes hits as well from the start. It's not a, a comment on her, but like I didn't realize she obviously can't wield weapons. But the damage you get from the start—that's the difficulty I've yeah. run into straight away. I was like, holy shit! It's like two hits and you're down. Yeah. Mm. And the idea is she's not a warrior, but she's got better <laughs> ways to fight. And so I like that there's a difficulty in that. That it's you know it's yeah. not it's on a walk in the park kind of vibes. Yeah, like it, it's 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 got its challenges, which is really cool. But yeah, I, I'm I'm absolutely loving it. I think it's so beautiful. I think uh, there there there's just I like everything about it, plain and simple. And 
And like, I love that I get to, to change my outfits. I think mm. that's really cute. Uh, I love that I've got little accessories that I can wear and then I can go to the great fairy and she's like, you want to be stylish? And I'm like, yes, I want to be stylish. <laughs> it rocks. Every character you meet is delightful. And there's a, there's a whole different dynamic as well. Cause at first you're hiding your identity because everybody thinks that you're the ones, you're the one creating the rifts. So they're all looking to, to chuck you in jail. They're mm. like, they're like, fuck Zelda. But once you save who the wouldn't yeah right and once you save the day at first <laughs> oh right sorry. once you save the day at first everyone's like oh zelda's chill she actually isn't the bad guy i'm not this bit spoilers i, this, okay. spoilers, I genuinely spoilers, spoilers. don't know this bit i, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. I genuinely yep. no more talking okay. no more talking no more talking no 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 more talking uh how many hours is this game i don't know because i can't see how many hours i've got in it in the first seven days of playing it. <laughs> so all my all my switch tells me uh it I, also i wasn't gonna spoil it what but i but it already is stuff that he, he doesn't but like, yeah i'm just saying it's a bit rich way, coming from gas the yeah totally fuck you <laughs> oh, sorry it doesn't make it okay to spoil just because he can't spoiling, help but i'm not spoiling what i'm saying is the dynamic between you and the people of hyrule is very different to when you're Link. Because yeah, when you're cool. Link, you're just the unknown hero. But people know you as Zelda. They know you as the princess. It's dealing with fame. It's, mm. it's, I get it. I get but it. it's like it's like people are people are like, oh my god, Zelda. Zelda's here. Ah, oh, you're from the game. What are you doing here? Yeah. Um, and it's re it's really nice, you know? So yeah, that's what I was going to say. That's a, that, that is a nice point because I've always found in the Zelda games, there's something like eerie about being the, the hero of Hyrule. And everyone, you you just like you're invisible. You're yeah. kind of invisible in those you're games. Just some guy. Yeah, it's uh, like people don't even want to be like they don't want to engage with you. And yeah, yeah. I and mean you're voiceless as well, which kind of like is the nature of the character, but seems mm. eerie the more the games progress and you just nod at people mm. and you're yeah. like, I feel yeah. like yeah. But I could I could talk about that game for a million years. But I, I want to revisit it when we both finish it. It's fantastic. Yeah, I'm yeah. very happy to be playing it instead of Tears of the Kingdom. It's like a game I wanted after mm. that mm. didn't really. Did you know that you don't go to prison? They all come around. Uh, tell us about Copycat, guys. Can do. Yeah. Uh, I checked out Copycat, which is a uh, Australian designed or uh, made game by a small team uh, called Spoonful of Wonder. You're taking mm -hmm. a photo of your face. I'm not doing what you always do. God damn it. Always. I've done it twice. Switch. Thanks Spoonful very much. of Wonder. Spoonful of Wonder uh, have developed Copycat. Uh, and this is a very uh, sweet, very emotional little game. Uh, it is their debut game, and uh, in it, you, uh, it's as is trend lately, to be animal in game. Oh, God, I sound like creepy. Um, <laughs> and in this game, you take uh, control excited. of a little cat uh, that has been adopted by an elderly woman uh, after her cat has gone missing. Um, and I won't go too deep into the story because, but it's the premise on the box that says you then become her new animal. And Josh, you might need to scrub quite a bit through this because it takes a while to get going. Um, because it's a very, very uh, slow. Oh, it's a kitty cat. But but sort of considered intro to a game that is setting you up as uh, a, a new cat. Uh, sorry, a cat in a new environment. And so this isn't the big kitty. Little Kitty Big City Vibes, yeah. Untitled Goose Game, how quirky is it to be an animal? Um, it is trying to simulate the fear that an animal would have moving to a new environment. Um, and the story that precedes that is interesting um, because it tries to tackle a couple of themes. Uh, and what I want to start say, start with this sort of little chat about the game at the start is that I don't think any of this game was particularly fun. Um, I, and... That said, looks like that's what they were going for. They were creating sort of a playful animal. They do put mini games in it, but it is their first game and it feels very much like that. And I don't want to criticize the game for that. It is them trying very hard to create this really, really ambitious story. Um, but I would say I was in this to just see how they, where they took that story. Um, and I would say it's similar to going and seeing a friend's play. It's like you, you know that That's they've such worked. such a harsh criticism. <laughs> Let me finish. Okay. You, they've worked really fucking hard on it. Yeah. They've worked with limitations and some inexperience yeah. that they are getting better at. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they are getting better at. And it has a lot of slightly jagged edges to it. But you smile through it all. And at the end, you give them a round of applause and say, that was really good. And <laughs> like... <laughs> No, honestly, it's like, yeah. it's it's a lovely story that just, I would say, you know, struggles through a lot of technical jank, 
and uh, a lot of pacing issues, which is probably something that anyone on their first game would be running into and slowly working through and developing on top of. I genuinely really enjoyed the time with this, but as I said, I wasn't really having moment-to-moment -moment fun, even through just enjoying a good story. Okay. I'm not saying fun as in, like, press button to do funny cat jumps. Totally. I'm saying it is a bit of a slog, but I was intrigued with how they were going to take this story because the really strong moments in there, and there are quite a few of them, are emotional, um, but they are just... They are hard to sometimes take as emotionally as that you can tell they wanted it to be, if that makes sense. Right. Did you bite the woman? You can bite or hiss, isn't it? Yeah, I think I hiss. I think it was mm. scratch. I think, oh, bite or scratch. There, yeah. So what I mean is the intent is definitely there and the premise is there and at moments there are little pockets of delight uh, when, as I said, you do, you know, find a sweet little moment as an animal. Um, but I would say, you know, it's probably a little longer than it needs to be for the point they're trying to make and some of the narrative turns they take are a bit strange. Um, and I feel totally valid in that criticism of it. It is has some strange so stories. The cat does go to prison. <laughs> well, the idea is that mm -hmm. there is you've you've taken over that cat that she lost, and then later on that cat returns, and then you're kicked out. The cat uh, returns. We've seen that. We've all seen that. <laughs> right? Maybe. Yeah. I'll leave it probably at that. But then there is the story of the aging mother, her daughter, and their relationship. And mm. I couldn't really tell what the game was trying to which one it wanted me to focus on more, and where that message was. And at the end of the game, it does put that message very front and centre, and I was like, oh, yeah, I, I understand that, but I think I took something else from it. Mm. So, yeah. as I said, it I was... I think on your, on your point of you're not sure which one you were supposed to focus on more, I feel like that comes with the fact that you're playing a cat and you have your own story in the sense that you, you become replaced by a different cat. Uh, I feel like if they didn't put a story with the humans and like something going on in their lives, it would feel a bit more hollow because realistically, uh, cats if lives are shallow. Cats, cats <laughs> lives are shallow. Yeah. And, right. and, uh, you know, the, the, I, I, I played a bit, a bit of this, uh, the demo of this when mm. the demo came out. And I think having that narrative happening with, the owner and and her family, I found it quite interesting mm. because uh, it it's you're not only seeing someone else's life, but you're seeing it from the perspective of somebody who uh, something uh, some cat that can't really do anything else but I guess sit on her lap or sit near sure. her. Sure, I think. I get your point, but the way that narrative is handled of the the, the the human characters in the world is done a little clunkily, okay. and so I think there is a there is a version of that where the cat can absorb what's happening around them and could be probably more meaningful to playing a cat in this and seeing the world through different eyes than having it told the way <laughs> it's told in the game through the voice acting and through a lot of the text on screen. So again, I think they're all um, what's the word when you're learning as you're developing and uh, they're all teething issues kind of thing like there's some some choices that were made that would feel a little bit like they were like oh we need to put this back on rails and not let it be a kind of free-flowing experience it just feels like it's telling you how you're meant to be feeling at times um literally text they're saying like this is a sad thing happening now and this is how it feels and i was like i feel like there was potentially a world where this game could have let you discover that yourself mm. that said Everything it does right, and when there are those little moments of brilliance in it that you go, oh, that was really sweet, or that was quite sad, um, those are the bits that were not, I think, narrated to me or written on screen. So I think it's trying really hard, and it does some really promising little bits in there. Um, it just, it's, yeah, it's, it's you, you want to play it with the idea that this is very much their first game. And I think it's naive to play it any other way. You know, okay. Uh, I haven't played any of this game. I can't talk to any of it, how it plays, feels, whatever. As you're talking, I'm like, I would love to play a version of this game where this, you're a cat introduced to this house and then the story between the humans is happening around the house and it doesn't tell you to do anything else. Well, that's kind you of can just I'm run saying, around yeah. and do this. Or you could go and engage with that story and not have a not have a major impact on how the characters relate to each other but just like be present as a cat that would be a really interesting experience i'm sure that's where this 
game shines when it feels like that. You're and kind I think of it's being what present they, as a cat. It's almost, I think, what they were trying. You can tell because those moments that work, that are those, those are those moments. They then just, I think, steer it really hand-fistedly into some points that feel a bit strange. And I was like, oh, okay, it stops feeling like my adventure and starts feeling like... That's a huge jump on that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait till yeah. you get on the stairs. But I obviously picked the cat that looked like Lando, my cat. Uh, you do get to do that at the start. That's very sweet. You adopt a cat and you get to pick from oh, which one nice. it is. Um, and yeah, uh, look, I think this is a great experience and it's like a kind of two, maybe three hours uh, all up. Um, and, you know, if you are, it's getting, oh, no it's getting positive cat. response online because people love cats. But I think people are uh, unexpectedly discovering that there is a more serious, more emotional driven story here than just be silly cat and run around mm. and knock mm. things off the, uh, off the bench yeah. and stuff. So in that sense, I think they absolutely nailed got, like, their intent of making something different. Um, and yeah. I applaud them for that. I think it's it's lovely to see games from with different design elements like this. Um, and I I genuinely want to see what they do next because I think it was yeah it's it's cute. <laughs> One day Gandalf stole a whole loaf of bread from the bench. What the fuck? And he tried did to he drag up the hole, and he was chewing through the bag trying to eat the bread. Did it's he like, get you... put on a boat and sent to Australia? <laughs> <laughs> He did not. I've had, the, I've had the nibble out of the corner of the bag, mm. actually ripped the corner of a full big bag and started eating it out of that. <laughs> oh, you're talking cat food or bread? You cat did food. That. Sorry. Okay, yeah. <laughs> cool, okay. Cool, cool. Not a bag. That, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. The bread thing was weird. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, but yeah, uh, that was Copycat. Copycat. Uh, Montaigne, tell us about the game you've been playing. Uh, I've been playing Peglin, which... Uh, as far as I've understood, has been out in early access for like maybe a couple of years or something mm -hmm. like that. I haven't done too much research on its history, but small team. Um, it's you're a little goblin, but you're called a peglin because the whole deal with the way you make it make your way through the world is that you play peggle, <laughs> and <laughs> you got like a, an inventory of orbs. Um, and yeah, I mean, basically what's happening on screen, you shoot the orbs out into the pegboard and you can hit things and whatever you hit is the damage that you, um, gain, I guess, or rack up against mm. enemies on the top horizontal, um, axis of the screen. Um, it's really cute. I love Penguin. Me and my partner between the two of us have played it for about 90 hours since, Jeez. I don't know, like in like two weeks or something like that. Yeah, we've been playing it a lot. <laughs> um, it's so addictive. I'm really, I love roguelikes and I love like deck buildy type stuff. And this has both those elements. It's got, I would probably compare it, um, close comparison for me is Slay the Spire, where you do have the branching map that leads to a final boss. And there's three sort of main overworld levels and you sort of just want to complete that loop. Um, and yeah, after every fight, you can maybe buy some new orbs or heal or upgrade orbs basically. And there's so many different orbs <laughs> like, and they do a lot of different things. My favorite is like the poison orb, which means well, there's a few versions of a poison orb, but there's one called Chemi Ball Hazard where, um, you know, every like five orbs or whatever it coats in a poison slime. And for every poison slime peg there is on the board, it does 10, damage to enemies up there it can be so powerful like wow. crazy it's so much passive damage it's really good but anyway such a fun game like no story really it's not even like slay the spire i would say is even um like the world building in that is po probably a bit i'm not gonna say deeper but maybe more immersive possibly like with slay the spire there's this sort of uh, you know abstract lore about the spire and the I don't mean, I don't want to give spoilers, but like, you know, all the stuff that happens when you bypass the, the anyway. Like all that stuff. But here, stuff. none of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, literally, I think that's, this game is so, so, so fun. And I have been, their version of like Ascension is called um, Crucible. There's a lot of puns in this game. Good, good. Ball yeah, yeah, ball and or cauldron bubble. bubble. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of that. Um, and... Yeah, you kind of just finish the th once you get three past the three bosses. That's sort of it. Like, there's no extra okay. sort of layers to it. Um, I'm wondering and I'm hoping they're gonna add more content to this down the line. I feel like they will to make it maybe a bit more elaborate with like the runs. But um, in the meantime, <coughs> it's just 
fun. <laughs> like it's yeah. it has the gambling sort of hook thing, you know, obviously without spending any money, but it's that thing that roguelikes do and and uh deck builders do where it's like you don't know what you're gonna get at the end of a run and you gotta build and you might get really lucky or you might not and all that stuff also what we're watching on screen right now is i think at like zero time speed <coughs> you can change it to two times speed and three times speed and it goes so fast and that's <laughs> and that's way better <laughs> like oh, really I, oh, yeah i'd love to just... change it to two yeah, times yeah you love it for like the first 20 minutes i guess like, yeah, once you play two times you can't go back honestly like <laughs> every time i i change it to yeah it's, I oh just my god i just installed it watching this and I've, got, I've been playing it on my phone i didn't realize <laughs> i was talking to gus about it before the stream and he told me he was on phone i was like no i can't know this information <laughs> i was like oh you must be playing this because it's on phone you're like it's on phone no yeah, <laughs> yeah we've been playing on switch um it's it's so great. The power went out in my neighborhood last week and I just like picked the switch up out. Like it was the, uh, the switch. It's was the, time. Yeah, the switch Peglin was the time. only thing hey, in here. the house. I could use no lights, nothing. And I picture I just, you were already playing it. Yeah, <laughs> the yeah, lights yeah, go off. Legitimately. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, and I just sat on the couch and played it. It looked great. felt great. Yeah. It's it's really just such a fun game i i don't know there's not much else. yeah again no story your cute little characters oh also you get um i guess like slay the spire as well you get different characters that you can unlock by achieving certain status things do they have effects or are they just they do yeah, they right. all have different one's called the spin vent and he's got like a little lab coat on little goggles and his whole thing is they kind of slimes on orbs mm. and like oh, he slimes, slimes on orbs. like that yes yeah, yeah. so the slimes like all My have different guy. effects <laughs> you know some of them are healing some of them yeah, right. uh, make the pegs um, more durable so they don't pop as quickly all that stuff there's the baladin who i think is like really op who there's a thing called ball walk which is bull walk where you can get like shield or like yeah sh shield i guess <laughs> it's like a little shield icon that you get and it's basically it makes you immune to damage until that hits zero mm. so, but with ball walk he starts with the shield and there are a lot of orbs you can get that help you build more shield and sometimes you can just be like fully untouchable and then there are things as well. The God Run. There, are, yeah, there are orbs you can get that, like, you know, if you have this much ball walk, you do this much damage. So it's like you can make really potent, like, attack builds with that, attack and defense builds. Um, this guy sucks. <laughs> I hate the big slime is the worst one. I think it's pissed me off. It's really, it's because I think what's so satisfying about this game is like watching the ball bounce around everywhere yeah. and any fight you do that slows the 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 bounce of the ball and its trajectory and its speed is so it's just uh, like well, you're a two so times person so yeah oh i see person. it yeah the, yeah the it just see it, it catches it and stops it from being able to like yeah anyway <laughs> that guy sucks yeah did you sucks. i i've just gotten into this and have you found yourself like learning everything the second you discover it for the first time? Because I found it in terms of its design, I found it a little overwhelming, even just what yeah. you're seeing on screen and the UI. I was kind of like, what am I buying? And what does that do? And yeah. so I was like, I'm just going to go for a few runs. And yeah. just like, I, similar with Bellatro, I was like, I'm just going to see as I just say yes and buy random yeah. stuff and be like, oh, I hit that peg. This does something different. Pretty did much. You, did you do that? Yeah, or I, were you yeah I just, I was just like, I don't know where this ball does. I don't super understand the copy, but may as well give it a roll. And yeah, like cool. did that basically. I think that's yeah, like, sick. I think like Slays the Spy does the same thing where it's like, okay, here's some cards, have fun. And it like, doesn't tell you how anything works. <laughs> it's kind of bold. Cause sometimes like getting that information up front can feel a bit like, oh, I, yeah. I, I don't want to read all your tips, yeah. tricks and tell me everything. Totally. So the idea of just, I'm just going to play it as if I've never, I don't understand anything and be like, do, am I meant to be saving this currency for something? Yeah. I don't know. I'm just going to spend. I think that's actually, like to compare keep comparing this to Slay the Spire this one almost feels more accessible because with Slay the Spire it's like you're getting these cards you really have to read and like shooting it off you sort of have to pull it out and then it plays and stuff where with this you just like shoot a ball into the ether <laughs> and see what it does you know like that kind of thing like you don't even really need to read the copy <laughs> like yeah. you can just see what happens when I it gets out I like how there. complex and you got into it but then before the sentence was and I just like how the ball bounces off <laughs> things and I was like yes <laughs> who doesn't love no, it no but it is yeah. it's that's the whole that's that's what I think I mean Peggle is a game in and of itself which is just like shoot ball out there and see what it hits right yeah. like th the reason why this is so addictive is because the original you know simplified version of this game is already really fun mm, and they've yeah. added all these like 
you know, lottery elements to the oh, game. Oh, yeah, like, like <laughs> a, a pachinko machine yeah, in yeah, Japan yeah, is so yeah. popular. And you'll see, like, old Japanese dudes just, like, smoking cigarettes yeah. and playing these pachinko <laughs> machines for hours. Exactly. Yeah. The one that got me was the when you unlock the the hole at the bottom that loops it back around again. Oh, dude! Holy crap! That's I was great. like, because you can sometimes make one of them, mm. uh, like, oh, you landed this one, you keep, you go back up and have another run, and it did about like four times. I was like, oh, it's happening again! Yeah. This is just so satisfying. It's so good. That one's really good. Yeah, I think I, what really um, <laughs> delights me about this game as well is what it makes up for in like a lack of, I guess, like fight and boss and like progression complexity with the actual map it makes up for and just like the sheer range of like relics and orbs you can get mm, like it's yeah, there's cool. so many and also the longer you play the game the more it unlocks like very quietly it also doesn't tell you when you unlock these things you just mm. start your run you'll be like oh that's a new thing yeah which okay cool uh, so after 90 hours or you're, you're 45 let's say or are you yeah. playing on the same you're playing on well we kind of like sometimes he'll play by himself sometimes i'll play by myself but often like we're just sitting next to the this couch yeah. the first seven days so yeah, yeah, can't yeah, see yeah, yeah. Hours. Exactly, precisely. <laughs> yeah yeah but you've got you've you're still discovering things yeah yeah yeah, yeah. wow that's yeah, awesome it's cool yeah uh, i am so keen to check it out i did love. install it on my phone yeah, um, yeah it's really it's fun. free i'm sure i'll get ads free on mobile. on phone yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i think it was switch? like 30 on switch or okay. something like that yeah but again i've played it for like 90 hours yeah, so I mean, yeah you've <laughs> you can probably yeah. on, on, on phone yeah yeah huh yeah well, I, well how... I mean there's probably like little microtransactions Maybe, or yeah. like if mm. there are ads you could probably pay what like eight bucks or 13 bucks to get rid of them unlock yeah. oh i didn't unlock full game hang on <laughs> unlock full yeah. game yeah, I think I'm... 15.99. I bought, that makes it, sense. I bought it outright. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. That makes All right, sense. there you go. Peglin, Red Nexus Games. Uh, and I'm going to round us out in what we've been playing by talking about Starfield, Shattered Space. Shattered My Space, Peter. Is that the song? Is that the June song? Oh, wait, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I can't do it. Um, I usually can. I can nail the fucking June song. Uh, so Shattered Space is the first major DLC for Starfield. Um, well, it is the first DLC for Starfield. Um, and it is DLC, expansion. What do they call them now? Um, it is uh, set in the, um, in the uh, kind of ethos of the Varun, which is that um, uh, religious cult that you encounter out in the main game. Uh, and you hear stories of the Varun having a planet that they occupy and they don't really engage with the rest of civilization, uh, except for the cultists, the, um, the extremists that are kind of out there being a nuisance. Mm. Um, and uh, to enter the shattered space, uh, you kind of need to bounce around a couple of times before you encounter a space station that seems to have come out of nowhere um, with a distress signal blaring, uh, which of course you respond to um, and find that the Varun have been uh, messing with technologies that they don't fully understand and it has gone awry for them. Um, so people will know who played through Starfield will know Andrea and a lot of people married that character. Stop rolling everything. I have to. Okay. I have to. The, the Varun and Andrea is one of them. Um, uh, so uh, I've brought Andrea as my companion into this deal expansion. Um, and that seems to be a good idea because she understands what's going on and I don't. Um, but they have uh, basically been messing with gravity to try and find the great serpent, which is the god for um, this cult. And that has torn apart time and space cool. uh, and created the shattered space um, where uh, oh. <laughs> I fucking love Bethesda <laughs> physics, man. The good shit. That's the good shit. Well, it's That's always been wonky. This. And they've gone, what if we put it in zero G? Like what if every G. Skyrim wonky soldier is now going, Wee. yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, and it is uh, so far, I'm not through it. Um, I've seen people do it in three hours. I've seen people do it in 10. Jeez. Um, it is, uh, not the best storyline in Starfield. <laughs> oh. Um, it is, it's good. It's been interesting. It's been interesting engaging with, uh, a different looking location and different types of characters. Um, I would say that when Starfield is at its best, it's, it, it's as good as any, um, Bethesda game in terms of 
story beats and mm-hmm. like and making choices that uh feel like they have a huge impact on the world around you and you know like can have massive ramifications for your playthrough um i'm approaching this having finished starfield um and not to spoil anything about the game but the end of starfield is um i would argue that the most problematic part of the game in terms of what it does um from a from an rpg perspective i think it's i think it was a mistake (laughs) but also thematically so relevant (laughs) yeah it's brilliant storytelling and 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 uncomfortable and and a frustrating game design choice Mm -hmm. um and so you come to that you come to this after that and uh it's hard to i was finding it hard to give a shit about characters about anything which i wasn't having a problem with in starfield because of the main game because i i hadn't seen the ending yet and knowing the ending, this has less impact. That's all I'll say. Um, but I was like, uh, and then I played a couple of hours and I was like, yeah, I fucking love being in this world. I just love, I love shooting stuff in this game. I love running around these planets and I love the different gravities and I love like, I love clearing out buildings. And I, I just, I really enjoy the moment to moment gameplay of Starfield. I just think it's awesome. And I have a super powerful character that I've taken into this. So if, if I just feel at home again, um, mm-hmm. and I, and I, and I'm enjoying seeing the new kind of like visual stuff that it's got to offer. Um, but yeah, it's hard for me to care about the story, um, which is a shame. I guess, I guess that could happen as well. If you hadn't had those problems with the ending, <laughs> just for the sake of ha- reaching an ending, it's like any game that you do find that, finish point or the dot point in the story a full stop i should say it's it's strange to go back and try and have any care whatsoever for that universe if you're not currently still in it yeah um well it's not it's just... a, yeah sorry and mitchob is like problematic it, 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 taking it as though i mean cancelable or something i do not <laughs> yeah, mean that at all i mean it's the problem characters. of storytelling yeah. even though it is i think i think a, it was a bold a swing. brilliant and bold choice i think actually is fucking brilliant but from from a game design perspective it it is it is uh deflating it is you know like it it builds to a a beautiful crescendo and has and i think thematically it makes sense where it goes but then ultimately it just kind of like cuts the legs out from underneath you and you're like okay Hmm. uh and so now i'm like uh, okay. Have like, you been back into the game at all since that? I have dabbled. I've dabbled. Okay. I've kind of cleared out some extra side questy stuff. I've the the creation kit came out after I finished the game, so I've installed a bunch of mods and have been playing around oh, as cool. Boba Fett running around the <laughs> fucking Starfield. Um, but uh, yeah, I haven't I haven't played any serious content since. Yeah. Um, but I I went really hard. Like I I really loved the game. I think it was a, a great game. Uh, and then I deal. I did the DLC plus ten, the new game plus ten, um, to get the to to get the best gear. Um, so that was a grind, um, and I went through that because again I was just enjoying playing mm. the game. Uh, and uh, having been away for a while, I don't think I was missing it. Yeah. But I. But as soon as I'm back in it, I. I am feeling the same feelings. I don't know what it is about this specifically, and I'm playing it on PC, and I don't think I would have been enjoying it playing it on console. It's definitely a mouse and keyboard shooter feel that I'm enjoying. Mm, this isn't my footage, by the way. I don't miss. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you definitely suck. Yeah, um, uh, yeah, I and you know you put so much time into characters in these RPGs that I feel like that's it, once you're it? back it's, in there. It's going back and seeing like, an old friend, and I, like, just, I really. I really spent a lot of time here, didn't I? Yeah, it's as you said, it's going back and seeing an old friend of a character that you have all that stuff and all that time invested into it. It's going to feel nice regardless, but it's good that there's an at least something there as a narrative. Is it all in this one location? Like it's a it's a linear mission that you go and. So that is a that is something that I'm I'm sure people are finding is a positive about this game is that it is you know there was too much Starfield mm. for it to feel um, outside of the kind of major story beats like actually a designed refined experience um people already had that problem with fucking skyrim and this is 150 times bigger um but yeah this is not just on this star um this this uh uh space station this is the opening gambit Mm -hmm. and uh it's where you're kind of discovering that something fucked up has happened 
And then as you finish this, it jumps back to the Varun planet. Sorry, it's the Varun, Varun planet. <laughs> and uh, and so that's, that's yeah, that planet is available. Okay, cool. This yeah. spaceship is the star battle station. Fire. Space station <laughs> is here. Uh, so there's, there's a few locations, but it's much more um, focused, um, which is a, definitely a positive. Totally. It makes I'm not it feel... skipping through this because I want to watch it. No, like, I, I, I want to play it. Do I need to? Jump, like, jump, jump half an hour ahead. That won't be... Just gonna... Yeah, just like, yeah, close your eyes. And then... And then... <laughs> For end stream. And then cut off it. And then cut off it. Let's just try and see a little bit of the plan. Perfect. Oh, That's my it. God. Amazing. All right, done. You can't show that. Thank you. Hide. It's disgusting, Peter. <laughs> All right, Josh, you, you go. Can I, can I have my eyes? Yeah, yeah. You can well, open your you eyes. Can, yeah, you yeah, can... yeah. This isn't going to... You're not going to get spoiled here. Um, so there you go. Shattered Space... Uh, it dropped at the start of this week. Did that come with the buggy or was that just something else? That the they buggy were... came out as part of a, a content launch. Oh, I okay. still haven't driven one. I don't know what yeah, it's right. like. Because that looks good. super serious, but the previous trailer I saw was like, drive a car around now. <laughs> like, That's a free free update and you can get it at any like ship dealer. Yeah. Any yeah. ship dealer. Any yeah. ship dealer. Go, yeah, and go, go to your local ship dealer. Yeah, if there's anyone I trust to take me to buy something in space, it's Let's get on a train okay, and head mate. to the ship right, dealer. Can we go one week? Can we go one week? I'm back, baby. <laughs> yeah, it's been. Uh, Ruby, you played Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. That's so tea. Gus, you played Copycat. Montaigne, you played Peglin yeah. and will continue to play <laughs> Peglin. And he's thinking of playing Peglin <laughs> right now. Yeah. Uh, and I, yeah. I played Starfield Shattered Space. And this is an ad break that Josh has done. <laughs> Reporting back, Moss Sergeant. After a clean scan of the area, it looks like we found what could be our target. Ah, there it is, team. The moon. Just begging for us to fly around it and maybe bump into it a bit. Our mission, nay, our purpose in life is nearly complete. Uh, Moss Sergeant, have you ever stopped to think exactly why we're doing this? I mean, we're Moss, look at us. Why the moon? Pipe down, Moth Private. That's treason talk. Our mission is clear. Locate the big bright thing, then fly towards it, and then flutter away from it, and then back towards it, and then pause. And then flutter away from it again! Well, sure, that's what we train for, but have you thought about what happens when we finally breach it? I'm afraid that's above my pay grade, son. Uh, I don't know about this, Sarge. I got a partner back home with body larvae, I still want to see hat. That's enough out of both of you! Don't let me take this to the top! Moth Sergeant? What's, uh, what's all this then? Moth Major, sir! We've spotted our target and are ready to proceed with Operation Moonlight Sonata! Although some of us are getting cold tarsus. That's insect feet. Yeah, well, I don't even think that's a real moon. It's hanging from a bloody cable. Oh, I've still got so much I want to do with my life. I'm only 26 days old. Ah, snap out of it, both of you. We're moths, damn it. We didn't crawl our way out of cocoons and live on a diet of mulberry leaves and moldy laundry just to find the moon and not fly towards, away, and then back towards it again in a confusing dance of majesty. I would be proud to lead you moth into that light anytime. Anywhere. Now, who's with me? Ha! Ah. Forward! <laughs> Moth Captain Repellent outranks them all. Okay, where do we put it? Oh, let's put it in the airlock. I 
don't have a spacesuit on. Oh no! <laughs> Come on, back to truck. No! Uh, we got fined. Minus 5,000 bucks? <gasps> oh my god, the contract! We've got fined! I mean, it was worth it. Welcome back. We saw a word from Dollar Daz. The word was haberdashery, and I didn't know what that meant at first. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's one of the best words to say. Haberdashery. It, it feels fantastic Isn't to it? say. Isn't it? Good mouthfeel. It's good. like my arm. Um, you know the frog on my arm? Mm -hmm. uh, its name is Balderdash because I like saying Say the them word. both together. Haberdashery Balderdash. Ooh. Or uh, Haber Balderdashery. No, you broke it. No, I put them together. That's the opposite of breaking. We also saw our new <laughs> ad. Very cool. We saw our new ad uh, for Moth Captain. There it which is. Which was really, really fun and silly to put on. We got Bajo in on it and we got Z in on it as well, yep. which is really nice. I could be the best acting in the oh whole thing. That's God. Gosh, not. She knocked Z's, it out oh, of Z's the just park. come from the stage. Yeah, she's see. just born to be a moth. <laughs> and then die. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Um, yeah, if anyone was... noticed in there, some of the writing, mulberry leaves. That's from research as I grew silkworms as a child. Mm. That sounds like something you would do. Well, our school made us do it. Isn't that relatable? <laughs> <laughs> everyone, no. Well, everyone either got to do the chickens or uh, or silkworms. And if, like, they literally split it down the middle. They're like, these classes get chickens, and you have baby chickens that you can have Aww. at your desk, under your, like, in your pencil case, like, chirping. And these group get shoe boxes with like worms in Aww. them that are going to turn into moths and literally it was like you fed them mulberry leaves we had to drive around and find mulberry trees to put the leaves in and it was the most boring thing ever and then one day you took it off and a moth just went <laughs> we had a mulberry tree in my backyard and like every time it would bloom we'd go mulberry picking they're so yummy mulberries rock love mulberry yeah. shouts out uh, we also saw an ad for the socials you can follow us on the socials uh, we post some very good stuff there and now it's time for the Riz Quiz. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Riz Quiz, Back Pocket's very own Not Yepity. In the Riz Quiz, our contestants will take it in turns to choose and answer questions hidden under the squares <laughs> on our board, which is copyright free, with each column being a different subtopic within the main topic. I'd like to hear the music that's in Montaigne's head right now. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time you did that, you were like... <laughs> Yeah. I could hear the theme song in your Mon head Montaigne's, that wasn't playing. Montaigne's like my, um, <laughs> my, my deal or no deal person yeah. with the, the uh, what's it called? The briefcase? The suitcase? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but yeah, they're yeah. just kind of next to like. But we just have no music and you're like. I like there's always I music. Just I think gotta I've listen just got quite a, I've got yeah. quite a, a, a musical vibe to me when I speak. Here yeah. it is. Mm. Yeah. All right. Keep going, Ruby. The topic for this Riz quiz is video game music. What? Who's it brought to us by? And it's brought to us by... BMAC. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> but we're all well aware of the game now, so it's going to be very easy. Can I do a slight? Can I do like a slight tangent here? Mm -hmm. What's gat? <laughs> oh, your gat. Your, 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 it's your ass. I say gat all the yeah. time. Yeah. Has someone gat, commented gat on when I put my butt on the video before. Your gat is like uh, uh, it, the it Cause, literally because when you when you see a, a, a nice big booty, you go gat damn. Well, no, what, no. I thought it was an acronym, which is "girl your ass thing." Yeah, no. That's oh! what it. That's that's where it actually came from. I was for told sure. it was the other one. <laughs> no. So girl, I got gatted. Thick. That was you a compliment. Gatted. That was like, a compliment. Like thought that however. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You, you're sticking out your gut for the Rizzler. Are you skibbity? Are you phantom tax? Mm. I just want to be your sigma. Do you understand Stop what it. I'm saying? I Stop, got, it. Stop it. I got when I was I was um, doing my album photo shoot a few months ago. Have you got an album? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was there, and it was like by the Bay Run, like the Canada Bay Run mm -hmm. along the bike path. And, you know, me, my partner, like my friend who's a photographer, someone holding up the reflector. It was like, you know, full crew or whatever. I was just lying on the grass. And as we're doing that, some boys go by on bicycles and one of them goes, skibbity photo shoot. <laughs> 
skibbity photo shoot. I got skibbity photo shooted. <laughs> but like, it's a drive by. Yeah, what does that mean? By. Yeah, I don't What's know. What's skibbity? Well, I, I think. No, we don't have time. <laughs> we don't have time. <laughs> okay. Not for skibbity, at least. All right. That's so good. <laughs> Skibbity is so interesting yeah. of, of a word. It is. It's also a word that feels good to say. Skibbity. Skibbity have a dash yeah. 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 That's right. Okay, so back on track. For BMAC, uh, we go to his uh, <laughs> TLDR movie reviews website <laughs> and we read out one of the movie reviews in the Too Long Didn't Read version. And you guys have to guess what the movie is based on what I'm reading out. Got it. Good. So are you ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Joker. <clears throat> Follow your doo doo there. So it's. Follow your doo doo. Oh, I lost it. Hold on. Uh, hang um, on. I'll just play the music. Thank you. Thank you. You're all hearing that too, you right? Brought it to <laughs> you brought the music to life. You did it. So proud of you. Okay. So it was Joker, which is why I'm now being really. <laughs> no, you don't have to. Uh, Every time we've done this segment, we panic scroll to something else and uh, it's like. Okay. Here we go. All right. Mm -hmm. So. Unnerving. <laughs> Unsettling, uncomfortable, and unpleasant. But given that was the intention of the film, I then have to say that it achieved what it set out to do. Yes. <laughs> yes. The lobster. No, that's a good guess. All right. Um, yes. Also, props for using the buzzer correctly. No one ever does that. Mm. Uh, it's very important to me. The <laughs> <laughs> um, Is it uh, the substance? No, but oh. you're in the right genre. Mm, body horror. Horror. Mm. Um, recent horror. Recent horror. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Okay. Like oh, was not, that your buzzer? Not right. <laughs> uh, more recent than that? Like like this year or? This year. I think it's. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh, oh, hold my hand. Oh, oh, buddy. Oh, not talk to me. Oh, okay. Um, hold my hand, buddy. <laughs> it's it's, it's, it's very, awesome. very, very new. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, what's hot? What horror is Horror's right new. There? Another oh, oh, long oh, legs. Long legs. Long legs. No. Long legs. Alien. Uh, no. What is it? It is Speak No Evil. What, oh, what's that? that's oh, a, the that's remake the one of the, with, uh, with James McAvoy. I don't know. Jack Avoy. Yeah, it's a Jack Avoy. It's a remake Are people saying of a that? That's pretty good. Go and tweet that if yeah. you haven't right. tweeted that already. Ch tweet Jack Avoy. It's, it's more like one, James Jack Avoy. Yeah. There the go, original was a Jack. terrible date movie. Uh, oh, that was like a Scando <laughs> one. And I'm curious French, if the... French. Was it French? Pretty sure. Might it's be right. French, French or, or yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm curious if this one is uh, yeah. also just as messed up. Yeah, I'll take it, a day to it and let you know. It's a movie. Yeah. Uh, it's a horror Danish. movie about going also on holiday, but it's the scary. Dutch. Oh, okay. Kind of yeah. Cool. So that's all you kind of really need to know. Yeah. So, all right. Thank back you, into, Mac. Back into quiz thank mode. You. So uh, for a too long didn't read of this game, it's Jeopardy, and uh, we'll, we'll have a board which I'll put on the screen right now. Let's and when I say one. I'll, actually, Josh is putting it on the screen. Sorry, He's Josh. He's entertaining like Thank four people no, 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 up there. No, no, no. I, mean, yeah. I, I just took credit for it. So okay. well I, done. I wanted well done, to Ruby. give him credit because I'm a nice person. I'm <laughs> also entertaining the stream. <laughs> exactly. Are you? Questionable. Um, <laughs> so, <We're dicks. laughs> uh, as you can see, we've got a board here. The theme is video game music. And each column has a sub theme that's part of this theme. It's called category. <laughs> It's oh, in Jeopardy. Stuff. They're famously called cool categories. So I'm explaining the game. This isn't Jeopardy, um, mate. And you're interrupting me. And now it's time for me to continue explaining it because I've made things weird and now you're not Explain the sub-themes. The categories are... Oh, <laughs> finish the lyric. Players will be given lyrics from a song from a video game and must fill in the blank that is read out. What game is this fake artist in? An image of a fictional musical artist from a video game will be shown. Players must say what game they're from. Theme songs, but fast. Think avoiding the DMCA Nightcore remix. <laughs> where a very fast version, thank you, where a very fast version of a video game theme song will be played and players have to guess what it is. And finally, what game is this real artist in? An image of a real musical artist will be shown. Players must say a game that they make an actual appearance in as a character, all of them playable. Some of them may have had multiple appearances in different video games, so players can say any one of those games that they appeared in and get that point. Okay. The harder the question, the more valuable it is. 400's hard, 100's easy, you get the gist, and the player with the most points at the end wins you or if you the want money. to get a bingo that's fun too with with i want a bingo with fast themes are we talking like 
Four times speed, ten times Talking like speed. Yeah, Peg- I, peglin speed. Or? I made yeah. them. I just made them like fast. Okay. How okay. fast? Just kind of sped them up. <laughs> okay. Ooh, all right. All right. Interesting. Yeah. Also, you want to go for a connect four uh, uh, as well. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah, a my rule thing. Four, no one's ever got a full Wait, line. Wait, did you say diagonal was okay or no? Diagonal's fine. Yeah. Diagonal's sure. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you can literally just choose whichever one you want. Okay. So you are gonna go first. All right. Okay. I'm gonna. This is actually hard, but I'm gonna go for two hundred dollars fast themes. Two hundred dollars fast themes. Play, play it safe, relatively. How fast are we talking here? Let's find out. <laughs> Do they get faster the more expensive they are? I don't know. All right, Josh. Can we play that fast theme, please? Oh my god! Yes. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> Simple and Clean by Hikaru Utada or Utada Hikaru. Is oh, yes, uh, Kingdom Hearts 1. <laughs> Whee! Correct! Oh I, didn't, I didn't hear goodness. a word. That wasn't, yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my that wasn't even. <laughs> Amazing. Play, that, wasn't, like, that wasn't rigged or anything. I just no. organically picked. Yeah. I think you're going to be hearts. pretty good at this game. Holy was that 300? Was that, it was no, 200. It was 200. Was 200. Was 200. Yeah. yeah. So if we could get no, no, that was three hundred. Sorry. Oh, well, oh. you played the wrong one. <laughs> well, okay. so that you... was the three hundred song and the three hundred answer. Yes. Yeah. Okay, oh, okay. Well, okay, great. <laughs> you made more money. Well, well done. done. You're yeah. You don't actually get any money. Oh. Oh damn. Thank you for clarifying. Damn. Uh, can you turn um, chat off as well, just so we don't get tempted by yeah. oh, the true, fates? True. Um, that temptation. <laughs> yeah. Gus. Uh, yeah, Gus, your turn. Okay. Uh, I liked that. I want to go at that. I'm gonna take fast themes for four hundred, please, Whoa. Josh. There's no way you get this shit. Good luck. Thank you. Can we get fast themes 400, please? Easy. <laughs> Amazing. Are we allowed to steal? You are you if are. you can't answer. He oh, yeah, wait for it. You're going to fill this whole board. Shut up, I'm listening. When, uh, this is sped up? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> So imagine, no. <laughs> imagine if it was slowed down. That's how it sounds normally. <laughs> no, I got no. Uh, uh, you pick hard stuff, Ruby. It's the hardest one. Yeah, no. a, Which means hard. it's going to be double hard. This is the easiest hard. one for me. All right. Yeah. Peter, do you want to steal? I have nothing to steal with. Montaigne. This song is Instrument of Surrender from Disco Elysium. Uh. Disco Elysium is correct. Holy shit, well done. <laughs> I know my wow. Disco Elysium soundtrack. Very good job. Wow. Okay. Why? What, should I, That's so... what should I pick for Montaigne to steal? <laughs> 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 Give me finish the lyric for 200, please. Finish the lyric for 200. <clears throat> so I'll tell you what the song is. Uh, I won't know it. You just need to know the the ending lyric line. Yeah, yeah, I got gotcha. you. Right? Yeah. So word, right? Just a word. It's like I. It, it's it's a, a <laughs> chunk. Sentence. It's so it's like a, a part of the lyric. Yeah. So you'll get it. You don't need him to finish the song, but maybe just the. Sentence I could give you the... a word. If I get a word, I get the it's point. The, it's it's. You know what I'll say? It's three words. That's too many. <laughs> well, deal with it. Rolling around at the speed of sound, got places to go, got a blank. Got a. Um, it's three words. Yeah. It's Escape from the City from Sonic Adventure 2. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, got a. Got a. Read, read it one more time. Rolling, a, rolling, rolling around, around at the speed, speed of, of sound. sound. Yep. Got places, got places to, to go. go. Got a got blank, 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 blank. Got a. Got a. <laughs> got to go real fast. Incorrect. Damn it. <laughs> That was gonna be my That's good sir. Yeah, I was gonna say that too. But like, <laughs> that's so a genuine fast. good um, No, no, no. I literally was gonna say exactly you were gonna say those that exactly that. Term. Go, gotta say the word. No. Uh, uh, you all got it wrong. Uh, it's follow my rainbow. Oh, I, I would have never ever. Rolling around that. at the speed of sound. Got places to go. Gotta follow my rainbow. <laughs> it's great. That's cute. Yeah. Was that 100 or 200? That was 200. Sonic sucks. <laughs> mind you, mind you, hear me out. I <laughs> was choosing between, uh, yeah, yes. baby. Uh, I was choosing between 200 and 300. And I was like, do you think this is more well-known than this? And I think it was it was either Will or Josh who was like, yeah. And so. Josh? Is this true? What? Yeah, I, w- was I wasn't listening. I'm trying to like, run a show here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sure you weren't listening. <laughs> 
thing when Ruby asked me that question earlier as well. So that's totally fair. Yeah. All right. It's your turn. Oh, my turn. Oh, that's right. Jeez. Um, go okay. the full jeng go the, I'm gonna, go the Jenga. Go the I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try and challenge myself a little bit. I'm gonna go 300 for IRL artist. All right. Ooh, nice. 300 for IRL artist. Is this word or visual? Visual. Okay. So we've got a picture of the artist. Oh. It is Katy Perry. Oh. <laughs> Do you need a hint? Uh, Just gave one. Oh, well done. I. Uh, Instant hint? That's just we're already giving her the game. The, is it? No, you're not. There's no game. I just told her the person. She has to guess the games. It, so they it, have to guess the game. Is uh, is it? <laughs> Do it. Is it Roblox? Oh, that'd it's be fucking not. awesome! Oh, oh my Roblox god, Katy Perry. It's not. Uh, these are these are official appearances that oh, she had in the game. Official, okay. official appearances in the game. Katy Perry. And and there's two. That you could choose. Oh, from. okay. Uh, would you like to steal? I can give a hint. I would. I'm. Okay. I just. Uh, I'm I've just got hints. Guess. I think Peter every and I both single... know it. Well, I don't know that I know it. I know that the, uh, her music was in The Sims, hmm. so I'm assuming the she Sims appeared is correct, in The Sims. <gasps> because there was a Katy Perry Sim also made for the Katy oh. Perry story. Oh. Holy moly! What was the other game? It's Final Fantasy. Oh. What? Uh, Brave Exvius. That's oh, crazy. I was going to say that next as well. Yeah. Logan now. Brave yeah. Wow. Yeah. All right. That was so a California girls outfit. It was a California girls outfit. I know yeah. that music yeah. video well. <laughs> I, that's good. <laughs> Katie head over here. Katie cat. I'm undeniable. Are you a Katie cat? Her performance cat? at the uh, AFL uh, opening ceremony. Just divine. Was it? She was standing on like a shiny thing. We were That's listening cool. to it on a radio, so cool. it didn't have much impact. Yeah, no. Yeah. It Gus, wasn't. it's your turn. Thank you, Ruby. I'll take fake artist for two hundred, please. Fake artist for two hundred. Did she not allow? She's not allowed to sing the "I know a place where the grass is always greener" anymore. What? I read somewhere that she can't sing uh, the "Grass well, is always song greener." Where she says, uh, "You're so gay and you don't even like boys." Yeah. But someone apparently they banned her from saying "Grass is always greener" somewhere because it was implying who banned weed. her. Uh, oh. And so now oh. she goes, oh, I know a place, sing it. And everyone sings that bit. But I don't know if it's because she's no longer allowed to sing it or just because of one time that happened. That sounds crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was weird. It's but... California. Yeah. <laughs> they love smoking a weed. Mm. It's legal? Uh, yeah, no, that's not the way you just did it. Very what? much legal that accent was. I said smoking a weed. It's yeah, I know. It's like it's an Italian. Smaller, yeah. <laughs> Didn't love it. Oh. I'll take fake <laughs> artists for 200. <laughs> yeah, put them up on the screen. Put them up. Oh. Yeah, that's the um, the sex bomb from Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Sure is. There's the a, video the, game? There we go. <laughs> oh, <I'm sorry. laughs> Come on. Correct. Yeah, sex bomb. They are from <laughs> Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, the game. Nice. Which has all its music done by Animataguchi. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's awesome really, soundtrack. really good. Damn, yeah. I love that one. Yeah. Uh, Animataguchi also does uh, the soundtrack for... Not Pajama Sam. It's, it's, it's like a, a little Pajama game. Pajama Sam! Oh, yeah. Amazing. It's like a game. Also, Deep cuts. let's add it to our list of words that are fun to say tonight. <laughs> Pajama? No, uh, Animatic Gucci. Anima oh. <laughs> uh, it's like a game where you're... Uh, it's like a uh, something Dreamland game, and it's really, really cute, and they do all Kirby. the music for it. No, yeah, it's an indie game. It's very cute. Right. Anywho. Do we get points for that? Uh, yeah, you got 200 points. Yeah, your right, face is on the board, mate. Oh, you made Pete, it. Pete, it's your turn. Uh, I will take IRL Artist for 400 it's going to be my Whoa. Comment. IRL <laughs> artist for 400. I've got, I've, got, I've got this. I'll recognize the artist. What games is Fred Durst in? What? <gasps> Three <laughs> games. And you'll need to get one. Yeah. And you just need to get one. It's just one of those games. Oh, it's just one very of those games. good. Thank you. Very good, Ruby. Yeah. The oh, hot dog flavored water. Uh, Shit. <laughs> Sorry, he's taking me over. Uh, <laughs> fuck, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna say that he was in. Uh, he appears in Guitar Hero 2. Oh, incorrect. Uh, oh, no. It's pathetic. Incorrect. I've got. A, <laughs> I've got a guess, but Montaigne, do you wanna go for the steal? Uh, here's a hint. Mm. Can I, ha can I guess again hint. after the hint? <laughs> the way you do hints is why. <laughs> can I get a guess after the hint? <laughs> well, the thing if is... you give the hint, I'm back in. Play. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. That <laughs> feels reasonable to me. No, 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 no. I think that's What's fine. The hint? It's like, I just I wrote all these hints. Hint and me, I really hint me, hint about me, hint me. I love you. Like, okay, here's your question. I really thought about these hints. He's a playable character in two of these games as part of a deal for Limp Biscuit 
uh, for a Limp Bizkit track to appear in them? I reckon I know. I want to guess. My my guess is that it's around that era of all the extreme sports games. So BMX Triple X. Nah. Oh, I was trying to think of the word. That was that really crass yeah, one. Guess. And I'm like, he'd be in the the crassest one. Yeah. Dave Mirra's BMX. <laughs> I was going to guess like guy. a similar genre, like Tony Hawk game. No, no, nah, nah, okay. I don't think they'd let him. <laughs> All right, they last would, They stab. wouldn't let him. Nah, he's not, they put not him the right. in Saints Row 1 and 2. Oh, that's a great, great guess. Great guess. Wrong. Okay. He deserves oh. to be in. <laughs> he is in WWF SmackDown Just Bring It, <laughs> WWF Raw, oh and the Fight Club game. Is it WWF oh, or yeah, WWE? Uh, w this was back when it was still WWF. Oh, really? The yeah. World Wrestling and so, Federation. So Fun fact, he is in those games. He's playable in the WWF games because The Undertaker had Rollin, which is a Limp Bizkit <laughs> song, as his entrance theme. Oh, and in order for them to get permission, Fred Durst was like, Put me in the game. Put me in. Put me in. <laughs> Wow. What a so, dickhead. No one knows what the game was. Nobody uh, knows what it's like. I yeah. played that Fight Club game. I hired it from a video store yeah. and then played it. And like a half an hour later, I took it back. I was like, I should have known. This is something else. Yeah. This is terrible. You should have known. Fred Durst is in this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so nobody gets those points. Uh, uh, I do actually Peter's put line. my face on there. Beautiful. Uh, it is your turn. Oh, my turn again. I'm um, diagonal to play with. I'm going to do... Oh, Finish the lyric, $300. Finish the lyric, $300. I'm this scared. is Jump Up Superstar oh, from no. Super Mario Odyssey. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. You know <laughs> that you're my superstar. No one else can take me this far. I'm flipping the switch. Get ready for this blank. Bit. Definitely bitch. <laughs> it is. It's definitely one, bitch. One, two, three, you, four, You would have heard words. it said switch I, in I the, heard... the rhyming. Yeah, the rhyming couplet has to be bitch. Yeah. I heard this song for the first time literally like last week because oh. that was, uh, I was saying I'm like doing an Aftershock panel song and someone else and was like, you should do well. that yeah, song. Yeah, yeah. 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 the album. Yeah, it's the, it's the, it's the, it's the releasing song. single on the yeah, album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a really good song. I, yeah, but I heard it like two times and I, uh, what was the, it was, okay, can you read it again? Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, you know that you're my superstar. No one else can take me this far. I'm flipping the switch. Get ready for this. Wait, how many fucking words do you want? Uh, I was just doing uh, syllables, but it's it's, it's, it's five it's, words. I remember it's playing the game, going like these lyrics. Are <laughs> Dumb when I play it could the be game, a obviously. word and it would be Is impossible. It like, this game. So jump yeah. up, my superstar. <laughs> partial credit. No, partial credit. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. What, what is it? It is uh, bitch. No. <laughs> Just put it off. Um, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's a dumb song. <laughs> nah, it was good. It was good fun. The lyrics were silly. Swing you to say it, you know? sorry to Pauline right <laughs> yeah. now. What was it? Uh, it was. Uh, oh, let's do the Odyssey. Oh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> <Okay>. Come on. <laughs> <sighs> it's not dumb. Yep. Song. I'll take yeah, not like dumb so. for it's my turn to take <laughs> oh, sorry. Guys, your turn. Uh, well, I've only got, f I guess, fake artists is what I got. So let's go fake artists for 100, please, Ruby. Fake artists for 100. I'm going to rely uh, on stealing my 300 and 400. What game mm -hmm. is this fake artist in? Oh, uh, <laughs> Animal Crossing New Leaf. That's, yeah, that's yeah, the game. You say Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing. Any, right. them, Any yeah. Animal Crossing. That's I'll right. take Ted my McKenzie. ding noise now. Nice. KK Slider is K. K. Slider. in Animal K. K. Crossing. Slider. That exact uh, sprite is from Animal Crossing New Horizons. Uh, well, model. Excellent, excellent, excellent stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so, Pete, All right. you're up. All right. Well, we got to cut him off, don't we? I'll take uh, Fake Artist for 300, please. Oh. Fake Artist for 300. Fuck you, Peter, in a tent. What uh, game is this fake band in? <laughs> oh, Alan Wake 2. That's right. The old are, gods yeah. of Asgard the are in Alan God. Wake 2. Yeah. God, that was like... Good job. That's a tough... I mean, if they're that's a real 300, band. then... They're not. They're not. Yeah, they're, but they were made for the game. Sure, but that's a real band. That's no. three musicians playing music together. You can in say the same, you can say the same thing about Sex bob -omb. They released... The, the, you can listen to that on Spotify. I'm pretty you sure... You can listen to Sex music on Spotify. They mind everything, I think, when they were on stage in the video footage. I'm like... I don't play guitar, but that's not no, the I'm right No, I'm pretty sure they're a band. They uh, made that music. Yeah, they? but they, they, they were formed in Alan Wake 2. 
Sure. They were made for Alan. Old Gods of Asgard, sure. Don't exist. Yeah, yeah. Mm. All right. But that's definitely a fucking real band. Now, maybe. But you could say the same thing about... I, give you I wouldn't. Anyway. I I'm wouldn't. Gonna, I'm going to go I'm gonna go for what I know, and I'm going to do 200 on fast themes. Yeah, 200 this. on fast themes? You got the hard ones. Yeah. Still got a row. I Play for us. <laughs> oh, even I know that. Um, is it, I feel like it could, it's like, it's Nintendo, it feels like, is it, um, is it Mario Wanda, Super Mario Wanda? No, not Wanda. It's not. Can I steal? Because I don't know for sure. But yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Yeah. I'm going to try and steal. Uh, it is Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Um, Correct. Yeah. Correct. It's too fast. Yeah. It's too fast. I thought it was like, yeah. I, thought, I think that the, 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 the lucky accident that was $300, $400 for me in this category was those two games being my favorite games yeah, of yeah, all yeah, time. Amazing. And then the rest of those like, okay. That was fast themes, yeah. Josh. Not IRL artists. Fast themes for 200 For a second, yeah. I thought Thank that- you. Sorry. For a second, I thought that might have been Tears of the Kingdom because <clears throat> I think- I might be wrong on this. In Tears of the, uh, in Breath of the Wild, there are like some piano like little chords that get played mm. the really the plinkies. distinct, uh, sorry, <laughs> distantly apart. Mm. But if you put them all together, I think it's like the Zelda theme. It's that yeah, thing where right. they took their theme mm, and they just pulled cool. it apart. Uh, so it's like over five minutes, you hear the whole song, but just in little like Cute. snippets and stuff. So we need to set up. It's great that you're talking right now because it's your turn. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to go for the top row, which means I'm going to take fast themes for 100, please, Ruby. Ooh. Fast themes for 100. Go for it. Uh, yeah, nice. <laughs> Holy shit! It was already <laughs> a fast. You know what's fast. freaking me out? I can see blocks going. Do, 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 do you know how upsetting these were? Because I I made them. And, uh, as somebody who starts to feel sick and uncomfortable when music gets way too fast, oh. Oh, making these was horrible. <laughs> you picked it's the a weird category. Sensory thing. Yeah. The, uh, that is Tetris. Uh, yep. I'll take my ding. Beep, 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 take your ding. Take the ding. Thank take your ding much. out. Don't take, take a ding out. out. Well, I'll have to take that away from you as well. Why? Do you, I gave you a... What did you give me? I'm going to take IRL Artist for 100, please. IRL Artist oh, for dang. 100. No one's ever got a row. No one ever will at this rate. What two games is Ariana Grande in? <laughs> <laughs> she is not only... Playable Stop giving hints. In both oh, of oh these I know. Games. Yeah, she's in Fortnite. She's in Fortnite. Fuck. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's in Fortnite. Fortnite. What's she's Ellen? also in Final Fantasy Brave x <laughs> That's oh, really? crazy. Yeah. Is that crazy? Is that something she oh, wears yeah, in real life? Yeah. yeah. The, oh, good. So okay. the outfit on the left is her Dangerous Woman outfit from her okay. album Dangerous Woman. Mm. <laughs> and what's um, the space suit from? Uh, space. Fortnite. Fortnite. <laughs> no, I think it was for an album. I just can't remember which one. But um, Fortnite. So good job. Fortnite. You got yeah, it right. Yeah. Fortnite. Yeah, that dream. Fortnite. Uh, Fortnite. It's your turn. <laughs> I'm gonna take finish the lyric 100, please. Finish the lyric 100. Stop the Ruby line. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It is the Pokemon TV show theme. Oh, <laughs> the only one I could have gotten. I want to be the up, very best, yeah. like no one ever Ooh, was. No. To catch them is ru- my real test. Yeah. Blank. To- Wait, it's my turn, right? Yeah. yeah. To train them is my cause. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. We've actually been rewatching like the original Indigo. How good? It's really How good. good. It's solid. Yeah. Before it's solid like well. the Americans fully just like took it into their hands, like the Japanese, uh, like an- I guess it is anime. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. It's an anime. Yeah. Yeah. It's so it's it's for adults as much as it is yeah. for children. My problem with it was that like that, <laughs> that first one way James. Oh no, it's a gun at the kid. Oh right? yeah. Oh it's yeah. What? That's cr- yeah. Yeah. Ash gets a gun pointed in his face. Yeah. 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 That first season is like a hundred and some episodes. It's a yeah. bunch of episodes. I remember watching that while I was studying for uni. Like I had them all on a hard drive legally, and uh, <laughs> I was I was watching fucking po- just just it was on yeah. constantly. My uh, there's so many episodes that are totally redundant or just the formula, yeah. but it's all fucking awesome. It's really it's good. Beautiful my art. favorite. It's just the, such beautiful art. We started watching it because my partner was like, I think. <laughs> 
Sometimes you remind me of the Squirtle Squad. Ah, <laughs> amazing. So show me the Squirtle Squad episode. It's so That's good. That's early it's on so as well. It's so good. But yeah, because I'm it's like, about I'm one of those. Chosen family. Yeah, I'm one of those people when you're in a. Re- I mean, I think everyone's like this in a relationship, but like, I I just become just like a little guy that makes noises instead of someone that actually like says any English words. Yeah. And, and so I do sort of take a sort of squirtle squad like yeah. <laughs> squirtle squirt. You're like, sometimes yeah. Squirtle squirt. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just be like. I fucking eh. love how, how <laughs> badass all of Ash's Pokemon are. Yeah, oh. yeah Like cute. the Bulbasaur rocks, yeah. the, Char- the Charmander it's is like- because he loves yeah, them. Char- I know. You know and that Squirtle, so cool that squirtle has fucking- Fake sunglasses. artists for 400, please. Fake <laughs> artists for 400. I show on uh, Good luck with on. this one. <laughs> What game is Milk Can from? <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, <laughs> uh, Parappa the Rapper. Wrong. <laughs> oh, it looks Parappa y. It, it does, like, doesn't it? I know, it, even if it's a trick, that's the only guess I could have thrown out there. So. And it's re- it's a really good one. Uh, is it a dance, dance, revolution kind of no, game? No, no, no. You're no. really close with Parappa the Rapper. Uh, then I know no more. Is Astro it like Bot. A, no. Ugh. Is it like a. Like a. See, uh, like a spin off from another character kind oh, of. Oh, you're right. There was. Thing. There was a sequel with the. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. I don't know the first name. letter. Uh, give, the first letter? Yeah. Of the I can character. give you the first word because it won't that. give you I anything. I the first letter. Yeah. <laughs> I can give, no. Um. <laughs> uh, what's the first word? Um. Umami. No, 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 no. That's the word. <laughs> oh. The three word title. <laughs> right. Um, actually, rapper. I don't know. No one knows this. No one knows? No. Um, yes, please. They start, they start, um, <laughs> yes, they start with yes. M. I like that. Uh, the, the, the band's name is Milk Can. Oh, but what right, game are they in? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, It's okay. What's Fair the enough. game called? There's, uh, What's the game? You I give up? Oh, of course. We all do. Oh, okay, no one cool. knows. Oh, of uh, course. The game is Um Jamalami. Oh. What the fuck? How is that I've three words? That. Jamalami's one word. Um Jamalami. Oh, um Jamalami. Oh, honey goes yeah. no. And N- NJ Games got this in the chat. Oh, oh no, no. A, a couple people did. A couple yeah. people did. As Um Jamalami, it is the spin off but technically sequel to Parappa the Some Rapper. people in chat really got the wrong Christmas gift when they asked yeah, for yeah. Parappa the Rapper one year and they're uh, like, the video game I'm Jamalami. I'm Jamalami. I'm Bonestorm. I'm Jamalami is good. It's I good bet. Well. I yeah. bet. I bet. People are still talking about it to this day. That's why it just. Stuck in my Alrighty, head when you so said about it this day. Who, who, who just guessed? That was that, Angus that was Jeffrey you? Bruce. So your turn. I'm gonna take finish the lyric for 400 Whoa. and a row. And they famously just finished right. lyrics. And a row. Wow. All right. Come on, baby, be one that I know. Oh, <laughs> I'm not gonna know this. <laughs> this is from Stray Gods. Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> Montaigne, That's help funny. me. From the song Adrift. Haha, <laughs> I wrote that one. <laughs> 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 Amazing. Like a boat lost at sea with no sails, not a breeze. I am drifting cold waters blank. A fish tie. <laughs> 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 to, 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 to be free. It's pretty good. I, In terms uh, of like rhyming your clothes. Yeah. But no. It's not a fish tie? No. I wish no. I brought a fishing rod with me. <laughs> The rhyming's good as well, but no. no. Yeah. Do you remember your own lyrics? Yeah, it's a... Like a boat lost at sea, wind of sails, not a breeze. I'm drifting cold water, no star to be seen. Correct! Nice. And a performance, Lovely. too. Got Dinner and a show. No, I had a thought where I was like, this is going to be a challenge for the boys, but also a challenge for you in do you remember what yeah, you Yeah, no, I, there's probably heaps of, I think just because I've sung that one a bunch for like performances and stuff for the game, the other one, if you'd given me what's from the other game, because, <laughs> I probably would have. Fair enough. Yeah. Sing that at the album launch. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Uh, well, it's your turn. One yeah. to go. The last okay, one. Get, and it give is... it to me. $200. $200. IRL artist. <laughs> Who is that? It says 100, <laughs> but this is 200. What? What? Did you say who is that? Yes. <laughs> yes. Who, who is this? It? Is it's, a, it's actually kind of fitting Curtis. that we'll fuck we'll fuck this up and put half the price of, yeah, of, really of what did. it actually is. <laughs> this is Curtis oh, James Jackson, aka 50 Cent. Oh. AKA 50 Cent. He's in two games. I and think... both of these games have him as the main playable protagonist. Oh, really? Yeah. 
I don't think I've ever seen a photo of 50 Cent. <laughs> I, like, literally. Um... As the main playable protagonist. Yeah. So the hint is that his name is part of the title. Oh. <laughs> He's one of those, yeah. one of those games. <laughs> but I think I've forgotten. No, I, 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 know, I know. I have a guess. Is it called 50 Cent the Game? Oh. <laughs> That's not bad. Not bad yet. Close, but no cigar. You okay. got it half right because his okay. name is in the Can first I try one. 50 Cent Bulletproof? That would be correct. That's one of them, for sure. That's one of them. Then, 50 cent bulletproof. Do you want to guess the other one? For uh, the other hundred dollars? For the other hundred? Yeah, for the other hundred. I, uh, there was a sequel. So it was like, it's called like this loads of cash or something. Absolutely wasn't it? not. Nah, it was blood. Was it blood in the sand or blood and sand? Oh, yeah. That's no, but, but, but blood. blood and what? Blood and sand? Blood in the ground. Blood on the Blood floor. on. Blood on, on the, the dance sand. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Okay. Blood on the I thought sand. When, I thought when you like, it wasn't... In, yeah, yeah, okay. 50 oh. Cent Bulletproof and 50 blood Cent on Blood the on the sand. The second one, he's like a mercenary for hire who goes to the Middle East. Oh. <laughs> it just feels okay. really wrong, but you can't put your finger on one. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. uh, so... There's the flesh board. Uh, Gus, got, Gus got that one. Gus got that, Gus got um, that. Gus got that. Put me on the flesh board, uh, please, And Josh. that's... Everyone got four. And that's a nightmare. And that's <laughs> the Riz Quiz! Yay! Thank you so much for joining us for the Riz Quiz. Uh, can we get the chat back up so we can see those final scores, please? Those scores? Yeah. Uh, the final scores. Montaigne won. No. Montaigne won! Oh, yeah. Also, Bajo rated us. So thank you, Bajo. Oh, thank, thank you, Bajo. Thank you so much. Hi. Hope you enjoyed being a moth. Bajo uh, reference to earlier that you probably didn't see. That's confusing. Ruby, you want to round this out to a break? Yes. Bye. Can you play some Type Invader for me? Oh, yep. Because you got Type Invader. It's already open. Oh, oh, we got a game in a game. It's a game in a game. Seam. Oh, shit. Oh. They're coming at you. Oh, it's a fucking writing game. Look out for uh, the aliens. Cat do. Yep. Divide. divide. Oh fuck. Oh Blade you. Yeah, oh no, you fucked it. Oh. Oh, you started nose. Oh, you're dead. Division instrument. Instrument. Fuck. I want to go. <laughs> Either. Also, this keyboard sucks though, doesn't it? Mm, it's like mm. it's got sticky juices all over it. Yeah. Any best. Plain truck. They gave supply. me shit like division instrument. That's, true. That's not fair. Oh, fish branch. Fish branch is moving quick. Shout. See Will. He's upstairs, yeah. Stood. See, swim. swim. Thick, thick, yet. thick yet. Hey, you thick yet? Sure am, game. Thank you. One. Let's go. That's the game. I feel like the guys I was getting matched with on most dating apps were just not right. Like these were bad men. So now after every awful date I have, I just tell them to join Allwood. From parent IT company Isaac, Allwood is the dating app for the modern woman who's sick of being matched with assholes. Here's how it works. Men join thinking it'll be an easy way to hook up. But what they don't realise is there are no women here. Allwood is just dicks. Now these guys will only get matched with people who share their interests. Interests like lying in their profile bios, not calling you back after the first date, and actually being married with kids. Let's hear from some of our unsatisfied customers. Don Juan DeFucco asks, Where'd the ladies at? Bikerballs wants to know, Why do I keep getting matched with jack dudes who send me pictures of their dicks? And Sisyphean Penis has the self-awareness to ask, Is this some sort of ironic Grecian myth punishment? All wood. There are no women for you to harass here. It's just all wood.
it goes. It's me. We're still running a Twitch ad, so I'm going to wait to uh, to bring us back. So you got me for another 40 seconds. How is everyone? They can't hear me downstairs at the moment either, so they have no idea what we're talking about. So say something really fucked up in the chat. Like, maybe, I don't know, make out that I said something really fucked up. Like, you can't believe that I would say that. Because then they're going to have no idea what I said. Uh, and, yeah. Yeah, there we go. So... Now that I've successfully cancelled Back Pocket, which has been my entire um, goal, you know, five, four, here we go, okay. And, uh, okay, we're all ready. We're coming back in three, two, one. Dude, that, you were still getting fed down to the studio, mate. Why we heard everything. Dude, I no, can't see, they're so. lying. I don't think you're... <laughs> they're lying because... Because what? Because what? I don't what? think you were supposed to say that. Josh, Josh, if this is a bit, you better, you better, <laughs> Josh, really hit that punchline. Josh, as your boss, you're allowed to say whatever you want. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. I... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <There's a> <laughs> Not that. <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> Josh, what did you say? What do you mean? What are you talking about? I didn't say anything. Everyone's really we're just upset out. <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> what? And, what, are they, and, what are they talking about? And my best friends anything. in the whole wide world are right behind you, and they look really, really disappointed in you. <laughs> oh, maybe they're talking about what George said. George said something really fucked up. Oh, <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. No, no, that's okay. George is allowed to. First and last time <laughs> in the studio. Yeah. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Good stuff. Uh, welcome back, everyone, to Back Pocket. Uh, we had an ad break there, and we saw ads from... Uh, we saw the ad, sorry, I should say, for Camo. No. That's why is that written in there? Why did I get thrown under the bus there? It was for what? um, it wasn't an ad for camo. It was for the the ad, yeah, the it Danny was, ad. Uh, it was Allwood. Allwood. Isaac Allwood. Anyway, I don't put the ads in the the rundown. So we also yeah. saw uh, a word from sponsor. We saw more burger from uh, Dion, but sick or Dion with the flu, I believe. Yeah. Either way, keep a word coming in. Uh, keep sending in words from sponsors, please. We have been getting more of them this year, and it's been awesome to see them. Uh, you can jump online and you can pick make a word, and I'll say it. Pick in, a word, Peter voice. will say it in this voice. <laughs> Write it in chat. Peter will say it, and then you can clip that up, put some funny vision to it, and we'll all enjoy mm. it here on the ad break. And that word is, of course, whatever Josh said or George said earlier. Don't say that, actually. <laughs> how, how about how about Gubaba? I got one. Hang on. Gubaba. Goon. Snail. Boner. Tumasant? So, so Gyat. <laughs> Crack. Gyat. There it yeah, is. Okay, there. That's Malaka! A <laughs> uh, we also saw the playback there. Uh, that was you guys uh, playing a hilarious and scary typing game. Fears to Fathom, Fears Woodbury to Fathom. Getaway. It was partly a typing. It was a game within a game. It was indeed. It was a game within a game. And yeah. we fucking nailed that game within a game. Yeah, we, were, we were the best of that. We, we finished it. Yeah, we were the freaking best at them. And you got good scares out of that. Uh, you can go to the YouTube channel and you can see that. Uh, or if you're at the gold tier patron, <laughs> you can uh, see the full uncut version of that. We've got another one of them, uh, another playback, I should say, coming out uh, next week. Uh, different game, but heaps of fun as well. All right, mm. we're going to move on with the last segment of the show, and that is, of course, very good gameplay. Of course it is. Of course. Boner. Of course. Very boner game. Uh, and we're going to round out a fun evening with a fun game. It's one we've had our eye on for a while, but it did just drop uh, this week, and it's on Game no, no, no. Pass. It, it dropped, dropped while we it were live last while week. we were live last week. Oh, did it? Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. During away. the during the Xbox showcase. Oh, amazing. Yeah, uh, yeah. Shadow the drops. game is called All You Need Is Help, and it looks like a really good party game that we've been keen to play uh, because it looks uh, adorable and simple is and this slow. The music? I think so. And this is the music. Uh, you oh all play God. shapes, and we have to work as a team to get our shapes into uh, the right area so the level proceeds. How do we rotate? <laughs> so if we, we all... rotate by moving against objects that are like static, uh, so there can be walls and stuff. Are we ready? And you have this to hold like... A to, to crouch. So oh. that's how you kind of make yourself static and lock yourself oh, in place cute. as well. So if we're all. <laughs> who's not. Who's so you gotta yellow? hold A. Oh. Y yeah. Hold it. I there we go, there we go. It reset. Hey. Oh, wow. I watched the trailer for this, and it looks like cozy game and party game, but without the screamy chaos that we <laughs> used to with, I like, a... You just got to help each other. So <laughs> I'm also green. Helping. Uh, okay. I'm blue, so this is me. You're pink? I'm pink. 
Ooh. That's me. I'm green. <coughs> Ruby, you're an L. <laughs> yellow. You're yellow. I'm an L. I'll take it. I'll take the L. Backwards Are we L. all peaks? I'm a little yeah. C? Is that what you call that? Or a, uh, a little L? Roll oh, the ball into, the, into hole. the hole. Okay, we can do that. Oh, okay. So maybe you don't need to just get in shapes. Jesus. Okay. So we so can't rotate at all. Or we can... Wait. We can. We Where's just got to push the ball? against things. <laughs> What's the ball? Good question. Okay. Yeah, I'm so gonna if be, we push I'm against each other, I'm locking myself down so we can we can spin on me. So P we can spin off Peter. Oh, well done, Green. What's the ball? Where's the ball? Why oh, is everyone I thought the things I was collecting was balls. Oh, you know what? Ah. It'll be up this ramp here, right? No. Or is it this? Um. This is gonna get shouty. Get the. Wait, 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 wait. There's buttons here. Oh, step on the buttons. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Crouch on the yeah. button. There we go. Where's the ball? Coming is through. This the ball. What's this? Okay, you guys all over? Cool. I don't Hang on, I reckon. I think we gonna... need to fill that hole. <laughs> oh, interesting. Guys, we need to, we need to fill the yeah, hole with yeah, our yeah, push, right. push green oh, yeah. in. Push green right. in. Can two people push oh, no, one? We can't get in. I'm smaller, so maybe put me in no. there. We can't, it won't let us We'll in. need a ball. Oh, and yeah. we're going to need to press these buttons. I think buttons the buttons release the ball. To let maybe. The... Oh. Let's, let's, really, let's press both buttons at the same time. Okay, yeah. hang on. <laughs> we're it's running hard. out of time. It's hard to sneak through. There we go. Okay. Oh, there's a button at the ramp. Oh, Go down to the wait, ramp. Go down the ramp. What? Ramp, 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 oh. ramp. There it is. Oh, I got it, Thank I got it, chat. I got it, I got it. I'll catch, I'll catch the ball wherever yeah, good idea. Ooh, yep. oh, oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God. It's like a rubber huge. band. It's oh, big. Oh, oh, it's oh, it's oh, heavy. It's too heavy. It's not a screamy game. Okay, okay. Fresh ball. Okay, we're going to need to fight. Nice, nice. Okay, so someone's got to go press those buttons. Oh, God, oh, God. Oh god, oh god, oh god. About, I'll, oh get god. It, I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it. I've got a tongue for this. I got a tongue for this. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. This will be easy. Alright. You three okay. go, I'll hold the button. Okay. Oh, I gotta get on I'm the gonna other push side. it. I'm gonna, oh wait, oh, pardon me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry, pardon me. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Oh, come on. Okay. No, no, don't, oh, no. you don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Yeah, let's all help. Last touch. Gus gets the goal. All I need is help. All I need is help. Yeah. Oh, let's go. I'm stuck. So now we gotta go over him. Oh, do we? Oh, the level goes on like grows. that. Oh, cool. And it goes on. Who am I dancing with? And now we got to... We got to <laughs> now, guys, we, we got to fill this shape but... with us. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, God. Okay, okay hang on. How do we do that? That doesn't myself. seem possible. Hang on. I'm going to turn oh, around. Let's do that. Oh. <laughs> okay, oh, fuck. Okay. So... Oh. What the fuck? That doesn't okay. seem possible. I... I think we. I don't yeah. think we have to fill it. I think we just have to find a spot. Yeah, it's impossible. Yeah, it's not impossible. Isn't We need... Two L. Oh no, it's easy. It's easy. Okay. Yeah, two yeah, yeah. L's need to be <coughs> the two bottoms and yeah. the two short pieces up the top. Like yes. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> so the two L. Uh, I'm ready to go in that top right corner for any. Uh, no, yeah, we need we need one one. It's 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 one big one, one little one on each half. So there's two halves. Oh, that would leave a block that I'm not thinking no, of. Yeah. So so. <laughs> that means I need to go top. Yeah. Oh oh, that works well. Stop. Thank you. <coughs> Like yep. God, it's I just hang on. Do, I oh, okay. If someone goes down, yeah, you use you them spin to on them. Yeah. spin on. Right, yeah. okay. Okay, yep. Ooh, I'm gonna <coughs> I'm just gonna sit here for a second. And let you guys oh. do it. Okay, so if I do that what? and then oh, Whoa. Oh, Whoa. sorry. Uh, and then I go here. Um and then and then Oh I see, I'll go down. You're yep. yellow, yeah? I'm pink. I'm yellow. Okay, you're, so you're gonna you're green green be on the bottom. Green and No 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 no. No no no. You'll wanna be on the bottom. Oh who's green? You can go either way. But, uh, 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 Jess, you'll need on. to come up. Can yellow and green swap? There. Yeah. Because I need to go up yeah. to help green. So... So if yellow... Un yellow? <laughs> Who's yellow? You don't need to go up Me. top. You can be yeah, on the Pete, bottom. You need to move and I'm be at the bottom. To... No, because I can be at the bottom with you. Yeah. It's, we, it's, need a, we, it, we need a big and a little on each... <laughs> like yeah, the okay, top I'll turn around up here. So okay. you can be up there with Peter. I just need and to... And then you come with me. Okay, really? so I'm going to... Can I so go on that go. left there go, side? There we go, there we go, there we go. You'll yep. be on the right side. Done. Oh, under okay, Pete. No, under Pete. I got to... Okay, let so me... You, just just you can probably come up and spin on us. Yeah, yeah, if you slam now, Green. Ah. <laughs> come yeah. on and slam. And put... Yep, yep. Welcome to Japan. So, yep, yep. Just keep on... I think keep keep. You on. just kind of push and then it's uh, sort of... Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nice. Uh, yep. Keep on going, keep on going. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, that's the longest way you could have gone. Yeah, what the fuck? I don't... I oh, fully oh understand how the control... It's like pushing push. yourself against some yeah, stuff to move yourself but sometimes around. So it's you're controlling anyway. You, you, you know you're saying? controlling just the, um, the pig? pig. Uh, yeah. That was... I took, oh, a, took a minute to work that out. Right. I didn't even realize it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. Ah! Oh. 
<laughs> you got a minute. You got a minute. I if you catch an edge it's and then. Quite, yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. then just keep push, pushing just keep pushing. Oh, no. no, the other corner. Yeah, push Fuck. up into it. <laughs> Attempting. Push up into it. Push up. Yeah. 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 Back yeah. down. Yeah. Little but ever so slightly. Oh, watch that, friends. Uh, I keep hitting It's like watching head. someone reverse party. <laughs> Fuck. Ah! Try, try going off the gr- try going off the green. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Little touch of the push, green. Push on me. Yeah, yeah. 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 Slam. Ah, no. no, it's okay. Now use the fence. It's okay. No. Ah! <laughs> you, you got forty seconds. That's fine. You got forty seconds. Oh, oh she's going the whole way around going, again. Going all the way back around. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, yep. There. and then push on green. Fuck me! It keeps rotating to the other side. Like, okay. Even if I'm not pushing. And then push on green. Push, push your on top green. One and then on the green. push on green. They've got it. They've got it. Yep, yep, yep. Got yep, it. yep, yep, yep. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. Just keep on pushing on Yeah, me. just keep pushing on green. Now yep. slam A. Hey, hey. Okay, uh, now okay. up. Okay. Up and Bring slam A. Yeah. Sneak yeah. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. We helped each other. This is all you need is help. All you need is help. Oh, we can send each other likes. Can we send infinite likes or what's the deal? Yeah, we can. Send them my way. You did it. Pierre, I got the MVP. Points collected. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. He's got shoutier than I thought. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah. Sweet I'm, a, I'm very, um, I have shout, I'm too ready to shout, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's not oh, something is I have this control a gotcha? of. But. How many uh, coins have we got? Oh, we need a hundred coins. Yeah. All right, everyone, uh, slam your blocks. Slam your blocking. Blocking. The music is damn cute, isn't it? Yeah, it is cute. You, uh, I think you got to do it again. I love acoustic guitar. I like it. Oh, yeah, it expires. The readiness slam. expires. You need to be here together. All right, all right. <laughs> These all look terrifying yeah. as stages. Oh, shit. Oh, that looks easy. Maybe. That's just about putting ourselves in the right pos- positioning and then slamming. Oh! That's oh, me, everyone. Shit. <laughs> I'm oh, the no. big boy. Oh, my God. Oh, no. No, you've given the man too much power. Wait, green is... Me. And yellow the good is thing, The good thing is we just Montaigne's. need Gus to turn around entirely. Yeah. Okay, I'm Yellow's pink, not this pink piece is, is We can do it okay. together. All right, everyone. Okay. I'm going to move out. Match the shape. <laughs> We're going to match I'm going to start shape. moving. Oh, my God. You should, you should just let us push you around. I don't think okay, you can. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Send me around, everyone. All you need is I'll help. Make it, I'll make it a little bit of... That's all you need. This is good. Yep. I'm okay. about to slam. Yep. <laughs> the slamming Close. kind of... Close. Yeah, 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 yeah. Slam yeah. it. Pop it the down. The slam kind of then... lines you up more than you think it would. So yeah. it's worth using to just kind I of see, get your I shape. I see what's oh. happening here. Montaigne, you're in. Oh, yeah, no. Yes. Oh, my I'm God. Not so Peter. easy, is it, Peter? <laughs> how, I feel like how do, singing oh, Sorry, Get I'm down, moved. please. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> get down, please. <laughs> oh, there's a coin in the corner if you... Uh, oh, there's a coin. Maybe, Let me get that. Oh. You get that. <laughs> just going to grab that coin? Yeah. Nice. Come back. That was not Lovely. a priority. No, but we no, it. but I think everybody gets the coins you collect. <laughs> it was just like, I'll get it. it. I'm the easiest timing. to do. That was easy. Uh, props nice. to Blue for that one. Well done, Blue. Yes. And the coins. Da, 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 I needed that. <laughs> <laughs> this is brilliant. This is really, really cute. Is this Xbox only? or like what's the? This deal? is free on Game Pass, but it's okay. also on Steam for... Yeah. $25 or something. Okay, okay. Uh, we can all afford to gamble. Everyone to the machine. Everybody gamble. Uh, X. Oh, yeah. Hold X to gamble. Oh. I think it's Who me. Who would skip this? Wow. This is me. Oh my God. Basketball. You got I got basketball. the furniture. It's for my little. Oh, we can put it it's in for your little pen. area. Your yeah, furniture. You can customize furniture on the signboard in front of your room. Oh my God. Oh, that's cute. Oh, plus, I got a loyalty card. Yeah. I'm off to play with my basketball, everyone. Who's next? Me. Oh, no, we're down to 32. Oh, oh it's shared. <laughs> 32. I spent all the money. Wait, does that mean that we all get to use the bar? Yeah, I think Surely. so. Surely. Hold X. Hold X. Oh, I keep forgetting. Everyone got a basketball? Yeah. Um, oh, you can bounce it around. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Coot. Oh, oh, okay, sick. we all get the basketball. This is the game. What a what oh. a simple and like. Wow. Oh, what's that? Wow. Nameplate. Oh, you get to put your name. Nice. We should have a name tag. Accessory. Wait, how did you? We can change our outfits. We've oh got a. God. Guys, this is so cool. Bow tie is cute. I got glasses. I'm Boo Boo Tom. I'm Boo Boo Tom Tom. <laughs> Oh, we're oh. all boo-boo, we're all boo-boo tom Is there a way to change the animal Tamarina. we are? Because I saw in the menu it had like a chicken and a... 
I'm gonna be just yeah. I'm gonna make a phone call. No, that. over here. Hello? Can I come into someone else's house? Oh, I, you don't have to be a pig. <coughs> yeah, I'm George now. Wait, where are you doing that? I, I think <laughs> I should probably, if you're George, I'll probably be Tamburina. Nice. Yeah. Oh, wait, where do you do that? Uh, uh, if you go to the, where the clothes are in your house and then you press right and left bumper. Mm. What's happening here? I've discovered Ruby. Thank you. No, it was actually, it was, actually wasn't me, it was Jess. What was what? I'll you were cat. the one that figured out you could change oh, uh, yeah. your creature. I can't figure out how to do the furniture though. Uh, you go to the little thing at the front of your house. Yeah, it's yeah. Front. And then you press X, yeah. But now and, and then you just press A, wherever a. you want it. Uh, you your what okay. a freaking dumb, adorable, Jeez. like, where oh, I can bring the basketball out. All right, we're playing. This feels like, um, it's kind of cocoa right. melon coated. Yeah, but it's also got like a tiny bit of animal crossing in the like, hey, yeah. in between games, like. It's lovely to have an incentive that isn't just play for fun. It's like, I want to build my little house. I feel like is. singing. I feel like picking that easy. Who's not slamming? Blue. Slamming. One more time with the song. There we go. <laughs> Good stuff. It's a random. <laughs> We've done that one. Oh, but it was different. Is that the same? Oh, it is different. Similar, but different. La, 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 That's me. I'm Scratch, everyone. Oh. oh my god. Oh, I don't like your voice. I don't like it either. Yeah. I don't think I like any of their voices. Rude. <laughs> I like that. Oh, I like that oh, one. Boy. I like that one. I take it all back. <laughs> all right. All right, ball in the hole again. Hole. Let's get this. a ball. We go catch the ball. Who's going to slam the ball? I'll slam. Come on and slam. Oh, fuck. Has anyone worked out if we can die? I'm just gonna see if I can drown. Like you can't no. walk off the edge. Nah. Okay, okay. Can we go? Can we go? Captured. Let me. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Alright. This is easy. This is easy. Okay. The ball is stoked. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> save me. And through we go. Let's get a record time. Yes, go, 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 yes. go. Oh, this is gonna be hard though to make a shape. I'm good. Uh, two no, two of these. <laughs> I'm over here. Done. Uh -oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 that's not it. That's I'll try. It. Oh, hang on. Hold on. Let the green go. Yeah, green, first. green go up top. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, uh, you're like a little Z up the oh, top. Oh, there. that like okay. I got yeah, you. Z I got it you. Up. Yeah. Okay. Scratch. Give me, got this. give me a sec. Give me a sec. Wait, if I can, I <coughs> go up. Yeah, just go straight up, can... and I'll I'll spin you. I got this. Oh, I got no, this. No, I got no, this. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah. Slam. Oh yeah, slammed. Yeah. Gotcha. That's it. That's it. That's it. Get in there. Get in there. <laughs> we're back here again? Yeah. No, it's okay. You got this. You got this. You got this. Oh, oh my God. What was There's that? Sprint? If you hold the slam, it makes you sprint. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, sick. <laughs> Woo Guys, we were going to get a record time. Shit, I can't oh, get sorry. through. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't get through. Hang on, let me sprint. I'm, oh. stu I'm stuck. Hang on, little more. Thank you. Pardon me. Okay. Excuse me, more. Excellent work. Oop, free slammed. Nice. And slammed. Nice. nice. Stage clear. All right. Very cool. Very cool. Very Excellent. cool. Very nice. Send it to the likes. Is this one of those games that's like overly sweet that we like start at, like the sending love to each other? I'm starting to do out of hate. I'm just like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love I it. I still think it's sweet. I really I like it. it. I think it's really cute. Yeah, it's we got cute. back to 100. Okay. Buy one more. Let's buy one more ball. Let's yeah. Buy one more ball. I just want. Oh, that. can I do it? I want to do it. I want to do yeah. it. Just for that cute little song. Ready? <laughs> Oh, oh skin. skin! Skin! Everyone put the skin on. <laughs> Everyone change skins. Everyone Wait. change your skin. Everyone change skins. Fuck a stamp card. Fuck! I want to get but to that. I want to get to the free one. Yeah, we'll get there. Everyone yeah, put we'll the skin on. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Skin, please. La, 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 la. <laughs> That's what I mean. It's You're going kind of crazy. crazy. La, la, la. Let's all change our Ooh. skin. Ooh! I'm Tamburina. <laughs> Let's go again. He rubs the lotion on his <laughs> skin. Everyone slam. Oh, you hold it. I like this on George better. Oh. Bonk, bonk, Donk. bonk. Oh my god, I'm going crazy. Oh, we're in small child. We're in limbo. Hun. We're in hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's maximum coinage from this stage. This is good. This is good. Oh, this would be like the that. perfect game to play with. 
uh, like kids or no, nieces would and not. nephews and get really mad at them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be oh, oh, shit. I got big. Okay. This is a fun idea. Yeah. You don't know what shape you're going to be is going in. It's exciting. ZPC. Uh, so right. Peter's got to flip to the top. Yeah. yeah. So we'll all go onto one side okay. to flip him over. Which side will that be? This side. Around, around if we... Okay, good, good. Pardon me. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, sorry. Pardon me. So, oh, sorry. Excuse me. Sorry. Pardon. Sorry. Excuse me. Oh, I'm so sorry. Pardon me. We can sprint. Everyone, we can sprint. Okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. Uh, I doing? could turn. Yep, yep. And if Peter... Oop. If I... I'm gonna slam. Oh no! <laughs> there. <coughs> I was trying to explore off the island. All right, Pete goes in. We got this. We got. Oh, do we got this? Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I just got him to go, go that way. Yep. Yeah. Good. And oh my god. Are we... Guys, let's go pro. There you go. Can you? Can you? Whoa, can you I didn't crouch? Do that. Yeah. Can you crouch? Sorry. I I gotta push off you. Nice. I mean that feels <laughs> safe, but not the way. <laughs> feels snug. This is it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do oh, it. Break time. Down, slam down, it. Slam. Down, slam. Yeah. Fuck yes. Yeah. Give nice. us coins. Give us coins. We want buy more <laughs> Is it stuff. Is this just a posting <laughs> Love. Lips on D-pad? Something. Yeah, I'm just doing the. I'm just. <laughs> oh, D-pad. D-pad. That makes more it's sense. On it's on D-pad. <laughs> Give us the coins. We're that not money. there. Yeah. Oh, come on. All right. It's okay. If we do another one, that means we get to get another one, and then yeah, we but also we get a free. Everyone in. Everyone in the middle. Oh, we yeah, speed. Yeah. Speed we're speed running. running. I'm saying this is a positive. Is this the only way the game is played? Just next stage? Uh, I think that's can... to go random stages because there's like a little map behind us. Potentially we can uh, choose. We've just been flying in the face of the map. Yeah. Just been like, we got this. Okay, buttons. Press all buttons. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Wait, what? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. 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 What should, it'd be great if one was just a <laughs> one came out and was just a dick. Slammy. Mm -hmm. You just ended up being like, and you are a penis. <laughs> just oh. a oh, this might be hard to press all the buttons at the same time. All right, let's, oh, no, before anyone that. moves, let's yeah. think this through. Yeah, let's think it through. Okay, all right. Oh, we're moving. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay, oh, I'm moving. the big long one. Yeah, um, yeah okay. So I'm going to go up here. I reckon I meant for the bottom. Bottom right yeah, you're meant for the bottom. I think. I meant for this corner. You're... Gus, you're meant for the top left I'm meant corner. To, I'm meant to button alone. I can't yeah. do this, though. You can. You, can turn you just around. go to the surround. Yeah. <laughs> Ruby slams. Yeah. Peter, come on. Good I'm job. Going. Good job. Good job. You're can doing you, great. Can you fit Oh, 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 Slam. Nice. nice. Let's nice. freaking go. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, 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 we got to go home. Oh, hot. Oh, shit. <laughs> Coins. Hot. Grabbing them coins. So low. Okay, uh, I guess so... I'm in the middle there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect, yeah. perfect. Oh, my God. It's happening. It's happening. Go on, Yay. Peter. Fuck yes. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Stage clear. We're good at this. We're the best at this game. Yeah. I do like the art style of this game. I think. It's really comfy. Yeah, it doesn't nice. let you give yourself too many. <laughs> nice. You give yourself. <laughs> and... 64 every time. Yep. All right. And then back to maddening music. I'm doing this one. It is a, a game. Okay, for one more and then one we can more, get one more. We've got to get our free coffee yeah, yeah, yeah. before we finish. Yeah. Uh, oh, I checked the uh, area select. <coughs> Hang on. Oh, oh, take us to the woolly. Oh, wait, oh, I'm not locked in woolly one. That random flush pines, what we have. Yeah, That's everything's be my locked. We've got to unlock the woolly wonderland. All right, everyone in the middle. Hold on. Yeah, only. All right, everyone make a nickname quickly. <laughs> oh, what? Were you doing that? I'm a growing baby. I'm growing baby Pierre. Just a baby. <laughs> Where do you do that? Just uh, you go to the name card thing and then you press right bumper. I can't see the name card. So the name card one is the shelf in the middle of your home. <laughs> okay. I'm the husky Kappa. I'm growing baby. Is Kappa Kappa's that? Uh, that's a Twitch emote. Um, you know the sunny angel that's on my desk that has the green hat. <laughs> no. Well. You will, and that's a kappa because a kappa is a uh, 
It's like a part of Japanese folklore. Mm -hmm. It's like, it kind of looks like a frog, except he's got like a a eunuch haircut. Are you green? Uh Uh-huh. Slam. Oh, I was busy. (laughs) Doing. Now everybody else slam. Real slam. Oh, no, we got to re re okay. Oh, re slam. Re slam. Is anyone a husky baby? Me. I'm a growing baby. I'm a husky baby. <laughs> I'm not. I'm Easy. Nothing. Easy. That's a little guy. Yeah, we got this. We're going to have weird shapes, though, I reckon. It's going to be easy. That's a very normal shape. That's mm-hmm. a normal shape. It's a classic tetromino, that one. Oh. Ew. I'm a C. I'm a C. I'm a little pee pee. <laughs> oh, I know. C. <laughs> you don't have to show me. I need a little one. Right. Uh, everyone just go rogue. We got I this. I think I have to be yeah. his hat. Nah, I know it. Let's go. La, la, no, I have to be his legs. I have to be his legs. Everyone in. Everyone in. <laughs> we got this. Legs. We got it. We got it. Legs. And... Oh, you're pushing me the wrong way. <laughs> I know where I need to. Hang on. I, n- I know what I'm going to do. Yeah. Yeah. Hold it. Okay. Need to use yellow. Turn Thank you. Turn around the. Yeah. There it is. All right. Found my spot. Yeah, that's it. I'm happy here. Then... I've, left, I've left an empty square. No, you've done a bad <laughs> job. <laughs> I'll turn around. Thank you. Okay, so, okay. No, 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 no! <laughs> Good, I've got my spot. I'm done. <laughs> I was silently trying so hard. I oh, know, oh, yeah, okay, I see, I see, I see. I, thank you, Peter. Yeah. There we go, there we go. How did you know that all I needed Uh-oh. was help? I figured that, that, that you know, they, oh, they no. might be in need of some help. Ah. You know what to do. <laughs> yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. Get that little pain in there. There we go. Among Us. We look like a little guy. Yeah, we're Among Us. Among Us. Among Us. Among Us. Among Us. Husky baby. Among Us. Among Us. All the points <laughs> no, going to. So la 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 la. Screaming game. La 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 la, la, right. la in the morning. Whoa, we didn't make it to 100. We gotta it's okay. We've got to do one more. We do easy. One more. I really like this game. It's <laughs> cute as hell. La, 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 it's really la. nice. You almost have no voice left. I know it's gone. <laughs> yeah, I've just it's been using gone. it too much. You can do the outro. I don't know why. That's crazy. No, I'm not going. I'm not going to talk anymore. <sighs> Let's all push. Comfy. Comfy. I need my voice back. Oh, I need to work one. on Sunday. We did this. Did we do this one? Oh no, the <laughs> no, no, one we did one. was with um. The Come back. Other things. Look at this. Stop talking. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm a growing baby. Pardon? Husky cat. <laughs> Again, instinctive vocal warm ups just emerging. You know, I can me. sound like a, a phone on vibrate. Please. That's good. That's really good. That was good. Here comes the ball. Oh, I'm L. That's actually probably quite good for your throat. <laughs> it, like, oh, <laughs> no. why? Fresh ball, please. L is tough. <laughs> I can't. I'm L. I mean, not L. Um, straight line is tough on this. I'll get in there. Okay. Yeah, you get in Fresh there. Fresh ball. Get in there, little one. <laughs> <laughs> you got to turn myself around. Stop. I'm stuck. There we go. Okay. Ball. Oh, nice. <laughs> we stopped that hard. Yeah. I'm on slips hey, up hey here. Ho. Yeah. Nice work. And push. Hello. Yep. I'm on the other side. Only gently. <laughs> only gently. And up. <coughs> How many dum dums? Mm-hmm. Hey. He's got saying dum dum. Mm. Nice. Come on, sixty seconds. You dum dum. Thanks, but uh, dum dums. Upside down. Minecraft. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, am I across again? I like... think you're straight up the middle. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh no. Or flat across the. Yeah, that's what I was. <laughs> I'll, take, no, I'll stra- take this zigzag. No, no, no. I'll I take this zigzag on this. Oh yeah, you are. Sorry, I, I didn't realize how many blocks you were. Oh wait, there. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I'm on the top, and you guys are either side. Yeah, there, there, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. I gotta just fucking Kit Kat. squeeze Pardon. myself in. Whoa. Oh no! Good turn. Cause <laughs> you made me. Wait, what are you doing? Well, I'm trying she was to get going up top of the corner. Uh, I'm sorry. Deep, I deeper s- in the hug. We had different different plans. Yeah. I was going here. Yeah, you just okay. go. There. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let me just. Let's go, Ruby. Come on. Yeah, I can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah speed it. up. I can do it. I can. You know what? You're right. Let's switch. No, no, Wait, no, it's what? okay, it's okay. <laughs> I'm oh, my here, God. Yeah. oh my God. Please, I was so Now you can just tuck in there. I can't. Yes, it's easy. We only need this one and we're done. Oh, 
god. <laughs> yes, I hate man. you guys so much. Perfect. Now you're ready. I mean, you're not, uh -oh. not quite, but... Yeah, hold on, yeah, hold on, I can, hold on. I, I, got, I, got, I got this, I got this, I got there this. There you okay, go. Okay. Actually, that I might help. Move, I can move. Thank you so much. Yeah. All I need, all I needed you're was... You're right, I'll oh, go here. No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Done. Oh, it's fine. Done. Actually, oh, fuck fantastic. you, it's fine. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck, I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm jammed. Well, I'll come oh, there go. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're all helping. Okay. The working okay. title for this game. Fuck you, I've got it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> There nah. we go. Okay. Yeah. We did it. <laughs> it's all you so good. You just have to touch. Huh? Just touch. Oh my god. You can't this one. Yeah. Oh, MVP for me. You guys shouldn't. Okay. <laughs> I don't think you did. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> We've started to get to the point where we're breaking the game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get our free coffee. Yep, 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 yep. I'm so excited. We've coffee. earned it. We did. All right. Uh, who hasn't bought a thing out of the oh, machine? Yeah. I think I'm we'll take it. Yeah. Get I'm in there. Okay. What's going on? <laughs> Purple ball, so, nice. What is it? It's a rare. <gasps> Accessory. Buddy ball! Oh! Oh! Here it comes. Pink bow. We get it. I got Thank accessory. You? Thank you. Get Give us a free one. <laughs> what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Party hat. Whoa. Party hat. You get to want to wear my bow. Hat. Everyone, put your, your yeah, hat on. Let's put a party hat on. Yeah, everybody wear the party hat. And then we'll get a little. We'll get a little photo. Yeah. Yeah. Cute. That's nice. Oh. <laughs> yes. Very good. Very good. That's very good. <laughs> I'm bottom thinking row. I'm starting a wag this game now. I f actually. You can grab a pie. Actually, <laughs> I think I'm starting to like oh, this yeah. game. What's this? Replays? <laughs> yeah. Is it? Is um, it? Must be it. Yeah. Make a movie. <laughs> cool. Or, I, right. Where are we? What are, are we? Doing? Right at the top of the screen. At the top right, of the everyone screen? at the top. Okay. Run. Oh yeah. I got you. Run. Actually, right at the bottom <laughs> of the screen. <laughs> <Run>. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, he's perfect. Okay. And quick pose, hugs, and hugs. smile, slam. 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 <laughs> <laughs> nice. nice. Alright. There you go. And that was very good gameplay. Yay! So that is a really cute game that called is such a cute All You Need Is Help. Uh, it is uh, on Game Pass. Uh, for free, but also just give it a shot. That's a really cute game. Awesome. Uh, well, that brings us nicely to the end of the show. Uh, and so let's round things out uh, because Coming next up, up next. we have the... Yeah, I know. Sorry, I, you <laughs> said the end of the show. So. Yeah, and then I said the end of the show, but before that, uh, I announced the post show because okay. it is the end of the show. So thank you very much for watching. And that's it. Bye, everyone. That is <laughs> it. <laughs> Uh, coming up next, we do have the post show. Uh, that is where we do a little extra show uh, for you guys to come behind the paywall and join us there. We talk to the community, we answer questions from Discord, and we even have a look uh, at the creative tab on Discord, which is usually a bit of fun. Josh, perchance be there something from the creative tab? Or should I not talk to you like that ever again? No chance. <laughs> <laughs> I would die. I oh would die. God. I would I would die. I would die. I would die. I would die. That is damn cute. That is damn damn cute. Uh, who's that by Josh? I would die. Uh, that's Dolphin Pants. <laughs> Thank you, Dolphin Pants. Oh, Lovely dang. work as usual. I want to uh, meet her so bad. I want to have a conversation <laughs> with her. <laughs> I want to talk to her about her passion. Uh, <laughs> to get access to the post show, you need to join the gold tier of the Patreon where you can get access to other things as well. That includes uh, uncut and full frontal playbacks, uh, which are the gameplay videos. We teased one of them earlier in an ad break. You can come and see the full version of that. That'll be going up shortly before the cut version of the next episode goes up next week. Uh, you'll also get uh, a whole bunch of extra content. There's at least sort of five to ten pieces of content going up there each month. Uh, you'll also get access to the quarterly town hall, which we had this week. We had a town hall on Tuesday. It went very well. Thank you to everyone who did join us on that and did submit questions as well. We hope it answered them. We had a laugh as well. We had some people up on stage, uh, a virtual stage, to answer questions, as, uh, ask questions as well 
there'll be another one of them next year, but you get access to those. Uh, you'll also get the Pocketeer Discord role, which gives you priority selection for community game nights. Keep your eye on that space. There is potentially one of them happening next week. Uh, and you will get access to the bonus uh, episode of Pocket Buds uh, as it comes uh, rounds itself to its sunsetting finale, Ruby. Yeah, uh, true. Speaking of which, uh, do you want to tell us what's on Pocket Buds this week? Yeah, and Gu uh, Gus, Josh, could I ask you a favor and have uh, for you to have a look in the Pocket Buds channel of the Discord because I posted a... Uh, a short promo from this week's episode My uh, to show everybody because it was really, really funny. Um, so if you could find that and get it ready for me while I word salad, that would be really awesome. But if you can't, that's so fine too. This week on the show, uh, we are talking about putting on a games showcase uh, with Jenny Wyndham from Wholesome Games. She is an absolute freaking angel. We told about, uh, we talked about what goes into putting on the Wholesome Games uh, Direct and the Wholesome Games Snack. And it was a uh, really, really, it's a really real treat. Uh, it was a, it's the 58th episode. So we've got this one, we've got next week's one, and then the week after that is the last one. But Josh, is that ready by any chance? What is that Marvel glove with the Infinity Stones? The, the Infinity Gauntlet. I was like, we've got the Infinity Stone glove of <laughs> Cozy Creator. You snap, but instead of people dying, it's just a bunch of games show up. Exactly. Yeah, That's this nice. is like the good version of that. <laughs> I didn't know it actually like, snap and kill people. <laughs> Probably should not have made the comparison. <laughs> yeah. oh the wholesome okay. object. Oh my gosh. Yeah, sorry. I. <laughs> that was in relation to her getting content creators from the cozy uh, content creating She's community like, I killed together. half of them. Yeah, she, <laughs> she's like, I Thanos snapped. I'm like, that's not what that means. <laughs> but and she's the most wholesome person in the world. Lovely. It was great. It was a really, really lovely chat. And then for the bonus episode, uh, we are finding all the determining factors of what makes a wholesome game. Because we both, she's, you know, obviously an expert professional. Yeah. Sounds Me, very wholesome. I play a lot of them. So we determined what the best, uh, what what a game needs to be wholesome. And sneak peek, Mudang is one of those. Uh, That's pretty uh, good. Things. Mudang yeah. would make a game wholesome. Yeah, That's true. true. Good so uh, that'll be out tomorrow. Lovely. Uh, so yeah, as we mentioned, to get access to that, you need to be uh, a gold member or above. You can do the, do so by heading over to our Patreon and signing up there. Uh, and that's pretty much everything. That is our show for this week. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, and thank you for tuning in. Montaigne, hey. fading fast. <laughs> but thank you so much for coming back on the show. It's been a pleasure to have you back on as well. Uh, <laughs> you know, feel free to plug, shout out, oh, or just yeah. do that for the next five yeah. minutes. You got a single coming out next week. I do have a single coming out next week. <laughs> <laughs> I have a single coming out next week. October 10 is called Talking Shit. And it's about how sometimes people, they're talking shit and I don't like it. Yeah. So that's what the song's about. It's coming out October 10th. I have a Patreon now. You can be a free member. You don't even have to pay any money at all. And you can just sort of stay tuned to what I'm doing. So <laughs> now, it's, now you're using it to accentuate the points. Exactly. Um, <laughs> you're casting I seamlessly a spell, is what transitioned. You're doing. <laughs> you will follow the Patreon. And exactly. You'll follow it. So yes, I have follow. a Patreon. You can get um, unreleased music there. That's cool. And other little stories and tidbits. I shared a song um, a few days ago uh, called Casual, which um, there's a little strange story <laughs> attached to it because it actually the verse sounds identical in melody to Olivia Rodrigo's Good For You. Mm. But she's definitely never heard this song before because... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was funny. <laughs> anyway, um, this song's unreleased. I don't know how she'd ever have heard it, but another funny coincidence is then, like, Dan Nigro, who worked with Olivia Rodrigo in that song, then went on to make Casual with Chapel Rowan, which oh. has exactly the same title and, like, subject matter as my song, which is Wild. very strange. But it just means now I can never, ever, ever release this song to the public because people will be like, you're plagiarizing Stole Olivia Rodrigo, to... Dan Nigro, and Chapel <laughs> Rowan. Oh my so God. that, like, story and that song is on my Patreon now, and you were... It's the only place you'll ever be able to hear it in the world. So just that that kind of stuff is Lovely. on the Patreon. That's just a handful of That's icons. That's super cool. Damn. Yeah. Um, and then my lot, I have so many things to plug. I'm Please. so sorry. Plug the away. Last, this is the, the, the last show. things is I have a podcast now where I interview like um, creative people uh, about their careers and creativity. I just released an episode with Ben Lee and there's like nice. 
uh, a bunch of cool people coming through, but that comes out every Tuesday. And, and it's called Tank Time with Montaigne. It's a fish thing. My God. It's called, <laughs> ta- yeah. it's called Tank Time yeah, with Montaigne. Love exactly. It. Do and you submerge while you do the podcast? I wish I could. That would be cool. That would be nice. Maybe yeah. there's a version of this show, like a, a, a web series type thing one day, like Chicken Shop Day, but we're just sitting in like a spa or yes. something. Or yeah. like in a wet pool. ones where you just sit yeah, in the tank. Yeah, wet ones, wet ones. Exactly. Oh, wet ones is gross. Yeah. Um, I like it. <laughs> wet ones. Um, yeah. Did you talk about DJ Dad Bob? We didn't even. Oh, really? I love that. We didn't that. even. I should have. I, I didn't bring up anything specific. I sort of asked things that were general and then yeah, let cool. him sort of bring things to me. But he never he never went specifically yeah, right. into. Yeah. I went to uh, when he was at um, the Wanderer Festival, which you were at as yeah, well. Yeah, that's right, uh, yeah. I saw you and then I saw him play and he had an amazing set. And then he switches over to the DJ set. And a lot of people <laughs> don't know that's coming. So they walk out uh-huh. and he just does not care. He's like, I'm yeah. just going to do this no, anyway. Ben, it was wild. Ben's just Such there a for a good time. Yeah, he, he just loves performing mm. um my last things to plug uh i have a show in melbourne tomorrow night at northcote social club and there's still a few tickets left nice. it's like a small little venue it's cute it'll be a nice occasion and then i'm also i'll be at pax and i'll be at high school this weekend doing a speech about straight not a speech but like talking about straight gods and stuff I think that's everything. Insane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're yeah, very so busy, busy at the moment. It's too busy it's right now. <laughs> so uh, look, yeah. we really appreciate you making some time to come oh, and join no, us again. Thank you for as well. having me. Uh, an absolute joy to have you here. I've been wanting to get you back on for so long. <laughs> so perfect. No, uh, yeah. Awesome. Um, that is, as I said before, that is our show. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in tonight. And again, a massive come thank on, you. Nice to- Thank you to everyone who supports us on the Patreon as well. Uh, please, if you get a chance to share the show with your friends and family or anyone who might like what you saw here tonight, please do so. Uh, we appreciate that just as much as everyone who does support us on Patreon as well. Hey, it's a coming little up low on, energy. Would you be able to do it? A little bit of this. Uh, coming up on Monday, uh, I will be streaming. It is my turn. Uh, I'm potentially going to stream maybe Endgame Zelda if I get close to that over the weekend or something else if I think of it as well. Uh, but either way, come and join me on this channel on Monday. Uh, probably about 4, 6 o'clock. Somewhere around then. It'll be a bunch of fun. Uh, otherwise, it's hard to do this at the same time. Uh, head to backpockets.gg for links to everything, including our socials. Uh, links to, hopefully, the new store eventually. But there's all the other stuff as well. Uh, TikToks, our Instagrams, all that kind of stuff. Uh, that, that, that. Oh, and um, really important. Do we have a show next week? Uh, we probably don't. Uh, but uh, we will be filling that spot, potentially, with a game night. Uh, keep your eyes on the Discord, on our socials. We'll update you there about what is going to happen. Uh, for those of the gold tier and above, we will see you very shortly in the post show. But... <laughs> For now, we're going to say goodbye, Ron Montaigne. Say goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, everybody. Ruby, say goodbye. Bye-bye now. Peter, say, don't say anything. <laughs> there it is. I'm going to say goodbye as well. We'll catch you guys later on. We're going to back it up. Goodbye. Goodbye.